time to take control of your journey towards chess mastery. Magnus Carlsen introduces Chessable, the definitive solution for studying chess. Move Trainer uses the science of spaced repetition to identify your strengths and eliminate your weaknesses. There's no need to set up a board, remember which page you're on, or keep track of all the moves you miss. Move Trainer empowers you to go from the opening to the end game with confidence. It's a seamless, effective, and fun way to study chess. Choose from one of the largest online chess libraries in the world, with hundreds of titles ranging from classic books through to our exclusive chessable courses, including over 100 free courses. Get expert insights from International Master John Bartholomew, Grandmaster Sam Shankland, International Master Christoph Sulecki, Grandmaster Simon Williams, World Champion Magnus Carlsen, and hundreds of other instructors. Get started now and join our growing community of over 100,000 chess enthusiasts at chessable.com. Chessable, take control of your journey towards chess mastery. I'm ahead of the game. Hello, 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 Chad. It's the final day of the leg, fourth leg in the MP India Chess Tour. And well, uh, I have GM Sahaj Grover with me. And Sahaj, I think uh, we have been saying this for so many rounds. We'll have some clarity on this finally. But I think today we will have clarity. <laughs> it's confirmed now. Now it's, yeah. now it's not hope, hopefulness. Completely, completely. I think we have to have clarity today. Imagine it's a tie break. <laughs> 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 no, no, but I think, but I think we'll yeah. definitely have some clarity today. So, so we have three, basically, four sort of say main contenders. Hmm. We have uh, Bharat Subramaniam on twenty-two points, Pranavanand on twenty-one points, and Aditya hmm. and Karthikeya and sharing on twenty points. But you know what? It's I think when we look at the standings now, imagine like you know Bharat playing, Pranav playing, Aditya playing, they'll be probably facing stronger opposition because they are the lower seeds. If by chance they end up losing suddenly Surya SL catch up as well. So it's like, I would say six players, all six technically have great chance. Uh, okay. Hard to say they have relative chances, but I would say still pretty good chances to get first place. Yeah. No, no, completely. I mean, by that, I mean, you know, theoretically speaking, I think, uh, still, I think the top, maybe even, yeah, six players definitely have a yeah, chance, yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe yeah. even seven. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be a lot of fun to see who will actually pull through. And uh, usually we've always ha had this, you know, that at the in the final round, we have no clue who the winner is. And I think it is going to be pretty much the same case here as well. And uh, yeah, I think we are just one minute away from liftoff. So which game do you want to focus on? There are so many exciting games. I think uh, SL against AD, even though, uh, you know, AD is not there at the top right now, but SL definitely has a chance. So I would say we can start off with this game. And uh, then quickly move to the others as well. Yeah, yeah, no, no, completely agree, completely. We were all, you know, we uh, both of us were, you know, rooting for AD, and uh, both of us are also rooting for SL. So it will be an interesting one. Yeah, AD can definitely spoil SL's tournament here, but SL has the white pieces, so he will definitely back himself here. And uh, he also, you know, played really well the last time. So uh, pleasant, pleasant memories of the final day for him. And which opening do you think he go, he'll go for? Yeah, do you think he'll uh, risk? Oh, okay, he goes for d4 immediately. You know, uh, goes for the main lines. Okay, knight f6 by uh, ad here. So he does not go for the Dutch. Yeah, very interesting. So no stone walls, no Dutch uh, in this uh, game. Let's see what SL goes for. Yeah, it doesn't look like SL uh, predicted that. Okay, he got he went knight f3. Do you think mm -hmm. he's going to do it? I mean, at this point, uh, if you if you've seen all the games in the past three days, I think it's automatic. And Black, Black knows it. AD knows <laughs> it. He absolutely know, knows it. Yeah, he knows it's very dangerous to enter the such territory. And that's why we have D6 from AD. And Knight H4, we saw this line yesterday as well, right? In an AD game, the Bishop went back to D7 and we saw the exact same position. So I'm sure SL is pretty well prepared. 
yeah i mean it's interesting to see maybe maybe ad is a bit you know cautious about the bishop coming to f4 so he brought his own bishop to f5 like twice now yeah 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 true and uh, yeah knight comes to f3 back so the bishop on d7 a so bit now this is, i would say this is quite interesting because the bishop is usually on c8 in this position and the black gets to play knight d7 and now the bishop on d7 is you know slightly it doesn't allow for knight d7 anymore so nothing black mm -hmm. has to go for this e takes d4 setup although which is a very very nice setup um although the one with g6 i'm not so sure about but i know that prague for example played uh, this a similar setup in the first round of uh, dubai open where he took on d4 and went bishop e7 and castle it, it's, it's it's supposed to be a little dubious but it mm -hmm. provides very very exciting positions mm -hmm. Hey, nothing happened. How are you, buddy? Uh, nothing. I'm something definitely happened though. I think uh, black is black is fully developed now. So I would say he does seem to be solid. But of course, white has one extra central pawn, so more space. Uh, now probably you can even move the bishop somewhere. And yeah, this is a very very important game I think for the standings. If SL wins, he basically goes to tied first, and then it depends on what happens in the other game. So knight going back. Saj, could you explain the logic of this move here? Uh, knight of uh, four to e two. White has more space, you know. White doesn't want to exchange the knights anymore, um, and I think yeah, okay. The other reason is to go to f4 and d5, and there's also an idea of going knight d3. But I think knight d5 makes a lot more sense because you want to take out the strong knight and get access to the d5 square. This can be you know followed up with bishop g5 or something like that. Um, also, it's quite interesting to note that in the, in generally in this position, the pawn on c7 is better placed on e7. That's what's known as the dragon structure. Hmm. Hmm. So I think uh, this is this is now a little little different uh, in this hmm. case. Hmm. Okay, he goes for h5. Yeah, definitely uh, we're going to see some exciting chess now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey, Blaze VT, uh, Blaze VT, and Abhiman, you can say how are you, man? And yeah, so Pla White controls d5. Uh, you know, in a very very effective way, with literally his entire army pointed towards d5. So one thing I can guarantee is Black will probably not end up playing d5 uh, in the next ten moves or so. And this h5 move, of course, it's it's an interesting idea, but at the end it also weakens the g5 square. So you have to be a bit careful now. Uh, for example, knight d5 and then bishop g5 can be a irritating move to face as well. So yeah, so AD is thinking, but. I expect him to play pretty fast. I don't think anybody's going to hang back here. Yeah? Um, I expect him to go for all. Yeah, he plays h4. So, hmm. Who, who do you think? Who do you think benefits more from this? With this h4, h5 included, like with these two squares weakened. I think in this case, black has more. Uh, yeah, benefit because you have access to the g4 square, and white doesn't have immediate access, at least not right now. Hmm. Um, True. So I think black sort of benefits more. So the bishop comes out again to g4, and now it's going to go back. So it has done twice the same thing, yeah. <laughs> In the opening, we saw bishop f5, bishop d7, and now we again we are seeing bishop have g4 you, and bishop d7. Have you seen those old, uh, uh, you know, movies, uh, Bollywood movies, where they would uh, play around the couple would play around with the tree, you know, like this, and then like this. It seems like this, you know, comes back, <laughs> comes to f5. Uh, the guy looks, the girl goes back, then comes to the, <laughs> the guy looks and the girl goes back. So it reminds me of those, uh, you know, old songs. For now, the g3 pawn definitely has become a bit weak. Right now, black cannot use this uh, to his advantage. But later on, you know, even the second rank opening up and this weakness can be utilized by black as well. So uh, this will be, this is, yeah, still very, very interesting. <clears throat> yeah, maybe black should also start, yeah, b5. That's exactly what I was going to say, that black should start just... Uh advancing on the queen side also and just you know completely um you know start mess in the position basically hmm. bishop e3 i have I, I have no clue who is who is doing better here the position yeah. seems so messy yeah but i think like black definitely seems a little little better place no yeah yeah like playing badminton song <laughs> exactly uh i would love to quote some songs here but i think uh we can probably just stick to the game for now and um, yeah, so the b5 move definitely gains a lot of space. And now you can see b4 also played by black. And the knight comes to d4, d5, the square which was very well controlled by uh, white. So white using this for his pieces. And now, of course, uh, this pawn is also hanging. White can also trade and then again go knight d5. So he has multiple pieces that can be that can use the square. So from black's perspective, I think, I guess he should take, right? I mean, otherwise, I don't see anything else. Yes, he takes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, otherwise white would take on f6 and bring the other knight to d5 anyway. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to happen. I mean, 
in any case exactly so. rajesh bhai exactly dhal gaya din <laughs> exactly that was the song i was thinking exactly <laughs> my point so this reminds me of that this bishop yeah dancing go, go, going back okay so we have the knight on d5 a5 played by black so he defends the weakness on b4 and this really helps black to gain a lot of space but of course still the question is uh, what to do about this knight and right now there's also some pressure on this rook so probably the rook has to move at some moment white bishop is horrible yeah white bishop is not exactly the best piece in the position i mean it's also struggles to gain activity because even if you play something like f4 to you know mm. activate the bishop then the g4 square becomes weak so mm. this will be this will be a yeah this is this is not a great piece at the moment uh the pankar bhai saying why no sound uh, probably because uh, your uh... uh you know <laughs> just increase the volume on the phone buddy uh, most likely that will be the case i i hope so at least that should be the case and um yeah so bishop comes back okay so oh something similar happened yeah so he also played bishop g5 f6 so it's so <laughs> similar yeah this king side structure now yeah they both doing the same thing yeah and now uh, usually so when you have the bishop on g7 So White's plan is usually queen d2, bishop at six. Do you think this would be a decent plan here? Do you think because if Black has played f6, then uh, there's no like serious point to exchange this bishop for now? Well, I mean, I I don't think so because you see, if White's bishop on g2 is bad, then Black's bishop on g7 is also not mm. great. So and also White's bishop on e3 controls a lot of dark squares yes. in this position. So I think it's it's just unnecessary effort to exchange sort of a arguably you know worst looking piece. Mm. I wouldn't go for bishop h6 side. I'd rather start create play um, maybe on the queen side. Maybe something like you know queen d2, rook c1, and c3. I mean my ideas mm. would be around the move c3, just to yeah. get you know access to the c7 pawn. Mm. Um, you know the knight on d5 does a fantastic job. Okay, that's uh, that's probably what I what I would have gone with. Mm-hmm. He goes bishop, bishop uh, king h7, so it doesn't <laughs> allow bishop h6. So clearly he was <laughs> at least he thinks he, uh, probably he could have might have played this, yeah. So he, he plays king h7 anyways. But I somehow also I don't like bishop yeah? h6 at all in this position. But yeah, I think, I think this, the this idea more... must have also been to get off this check, most likely. I think. Yeah, uh, could be. It could be. Uh, can queen queen followed by bishop h3? I assume you mean uh, queen here and here, something like this. white camp it's very similar to what we discussed right it's very similar so that was the point of discussing like bishop h6 that you because black has played f6 and blocked this bishop this is actually a bad bishop right now so exchanging it actually makes less sense especially if you look at this way white has a lot of dark square weaknesses and white has a lot of light square weaknesses although as i said he exchanges the knight on d5 but at least it takes a much stronger piece yeah not this bad bishop on g2 which is while well, doing nothing right now Although it yeah. has long term potential, I think you can imagine. If the like bishop the... comes to h three, maybe then you know, then you have yes. uh, then you have some access to the light squares. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you don't have plan, copy opponent's plan. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of actually. Kind of. Kind of true. Kind of true. <clears throat> okay. So a four. So black wants the open a file. Lady wants the a file. Uh, interesting. Um. I. So. I do think white should be slightly better, no? Like somehow the two bishops, um, and black bishop on g seven doesn't make a great impression. I'm already thinking about how to open up this bishop now. Yeah, f four, f four. Let's go. Okay, f four, knight g four. You attack this bishop. Um, probably. Now you move the bishop somewhere, yeah, to d four, and maybe go for yeah. e five or f five break. Hmm. Hmm. You can even play f five straight away. Hmm. Hmm. True. True. Yeah, this is the king is rather awkwardly placed. Um, although if we go back to the life position for now, okay, not this one. This one, uh, White is still thinking. <clears throat> okay, this is a very yeah, important looks game. Looks very check. very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Because White has to do something, right? Otherwise, I don't see any any other pawn break apart from f four now. Uh, mm. Black will take on b3 at some point, maybe, and open the a file. So Black has some minute play, and c3 now looks very unlikely to happen. So I think you have to play this move. I would love to somehow control g4. Yeah, he plays f4 directly though. He plays f4 directly, and knight comes to g4 now. 
and if and he plays it he plays your idea eh? f5 played directly immediately played and now you can see how the bishop on g7 yeah this diagonal is not opening up for a while now the only plan he has to come open via this but for now his king is under fire a little bit yeah but white's bishop i think will be a lot more powerful now because just like yes. how the bishop comes to h6 like you showed in the arrow right white's mm. bishop can also go to h3 because i think the knight on g4 will take on e3 at some stage mm. and the mm. bishop h3 bishop f5 you have that sort of an outpost you know controlled by a pawn and mm. uh on, on that square the bishop will be very very active mm. i think white's bishop on g2 has more potential you're right about that beast yeah i mean yeah you can never discount the beast buddy i think there's no doubt about it uh ad is one clever guy and he is well you know he has his moments he sometimes just wins five in a row and sometimes loses two in a row so he, he has his moments but how does he handle this though because i i you can't just take because then i win h5 so how do you handle this i guess taking on e3 is kind of uh i will happen at some point yosef bhai how are you But you said black is better. I don't think black is better actually. I don't think so. Uh, mm. Did I say black is better? Did I say white is better? I think I said white is better. I hope so at least. Uh, I I I I mean, black was maybe slightly better a few moves ago, but I think um, now it. I mean, it looks like white has more, just just more activity in this position because the light squared bishop is just completely exchanged, you know. So and and the light square seems so vulnerable in black's position right now. Yeah, but, yeah. It, but it's an ever-changing is... position, so anything is possible. Mm -hmm. Rook e five, yes. I think, can be answered with queen f seven. I was thinking, mm -hmm. just to put more pressure on g six and forcing g f. If you play g f five, then I have queen h five with with a check, and uh, uh, okay, so that doesn't look eight. very nice because king g eight, you take on f five. Mm -hmm. Now the bishop on e three is poisoned. Yeah, that's it's not possible to take it. So let's say knight e three. It seems logical. Mm -hmm. So rookie three, rookie three, and then just uh, bishop d5 check and mate to follow. Okay, I can't mate like this, so <laughs> yeah, um, that is not working. <clears throat> Going back to the live position now, AD is taking some time here. I think rookie five might happen, but uh, what do you do after queen f7 though? That's an interesting. I was thinking, question. yeah, queen f7 seems very nice here for white. I just don't see anything apart from this, right? You just can't hold on to g6. I mean, there's no way. So I just don't see what. Queen e8 maybe, and then just f takes g6. Mm. Okay. Okay. He played g5. Six. He played g5. Okay, that's super interesting. As seventeen hundred, I have a very difficult time deciding when to push kingside pawns. How to play the side? I think. Um, Uh, I would say it's like a trade-off, right? It's like, what do I gain from this, and what do I lose from this? So you you have to kind of make a call. For example, let's say you play the move. For example, Black played H5 here uh, earlier, yeah, in the game. So Black basically maybe was trying to control G4, trying to play some inside play, but he was giving the G5 square. So you have to kind of see, uh, is it worth giving this square for this sort of counterplay or whatever it is? So. Um, same way, f5 played, and you weaken the e5 square. But then white decides, okay, I, I at least break through on the light squares. Dark squares maybe don't matter too much as long as I break through the light squares. I have a light square bishop I can utilize later as well. So you have to decide which is the more important advantage. Although usually maybe. I would say start pushing the kingside pawns is uh, something we should be considered at the last. Yeah, if you have no idea, I think. Yeah, yeah. Unless you know, I, especially if you have if if you have castled on the same side, then I uh, then it's not recommended so much. Hmm. Queen f seven played now, and yeah, I think I think white is just dominating. This h five pawn is falling, and um, queen g six is possible. What do you do? Ad looks a bit um, upset. So I think yeah. uh, I think he has realized that the position is not very good. I think he's losing a bunch of pawns here now because there's queen h5 hanging, and then the g5 pawn will also hang most likely. Hmm. And this kind of reminds me why he will play the king's Indian here, eh? or at least used to play too much because uh, black has this some play on the queen side, like white has in the king's Indian, but I just get the king, so it doesn't matter, yeah, <laughs> too much. Yeah, I remove this pawn, c2 pawn. 
not much changes so once you get to the king it's just over okay are you still thinking He, he he doesn't look uh, very happy yeah as you said he doesn't look happy at all he's just looking to the right yeah that's the sign you kind of looking for inspiration but it's not there it's just not there yeah the dark squares just look so bad in this position already hmm you know something yeah, like knight okay. takes e3 and then rook e5 you know you don't have exactly access to the light squares but okay you can make sure that the dark squares yeah, you can... i can go by this path I, i guess now ah yes that is also possible that that just looks over actually <laughs> and the thing is the yeah. bishop on g7 um i just don't know what's doing um that just looks over and now you are wondering yeah why did i push the b4 or oh, it takes on e3 it takes on e3 it takes on e3 so uh white first gave a check the king goes to g8 and rook e3 played so he takes on b3 okay i guess you can take back i'm sure white has other moves here by the way um rajesh so says in, also in blitz players start pushing g4 h4 how to know okay so in blitz it's usually a fake attack yeah hmm hmm It's in in blitz. People usually only play these moves if it's uh, oh wow, e5 on the board. Look at this move. Oh, Look at. This. I was thinking bishop so f1, powerful. but e5. Wow, that that is so powerful. Yeah. Yeah. So I was saying that in blitz, people just try to push pawn because you know um, it's easier to play. Just push g4, h4, and the next few moves are simple. But the general idea is, you know, it doesn't matter if it's fake or not. Uh, what if if anybody tries to attack you in the king side or the queen side you should break the center hmm. um even if it if it's fake or it or if it's not fake i mean this is this this is the general thing to do and yeah the attack should be neutralized yeah so i i think i i heard this advice from i think daniel king at some point on one of his videos like uh, you have to ask yourself yeah what wrong did you do like in the position so if you feel you've done nothing wrong so far it's only 10 moves into the game five moves into the game you have played a good chess you've not blundered something uh, you've not made some position concessions then usually the attack should not work so there would be something and as sahaj mentioned like um uh, usually a flank attack you have to meet in the center so you might play these move h4 or g4 or whatever but i break in the center with e5 d5 my pieces come into the game and this will only create weaknesses then yeah this just looks uh, yeah bishop yeah you have to sacrifice in exchange and and this is not even a bishop if this bishop was on e5 i would i would consider yeah no uh, but then the king side would be weak though <laughs> yeah that's also true yeah true 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 but look at how how much difference it makes in the position right just this much bishop on g7 bishop on e5 mm. world of a difference like because Amazing. even though uh, uh, like just move the h4 h pawn now and suddenly black is fine yeah mm. <laughs> yeah now white will just dominate on the light squares like he's literally white is literally decided i am not going to play on half of the board <laughs> all these squares yeah. don't matter to him now i mean okay they do but you kind of get the point like he's just yeah. playing on the light squares and he has played for the fast few moves okay black takes on h4 i guess he had to otherwise white would take and play f6 he is trying to activate his bishop but i don't think there's enough there king g2 just getting on a light square very safe choice king h8 but hmm Rook d4. We're playing this. This also trying to trade queens. A lot of threats there. Queen trying to capture here. The only idea black has to get a perpetual somehow, but it looks highly unlikely. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Hmm. Okay, queen a check. You have to be careful. Let's move queen. the king away, maybe to h2 or something. A queen yeah, e4 queen is four. simple. Very logical. And now you could play queen g4 as well. Yes. and now it, i think uh, okay rook that was kind of a weird move i think he just allowed rook e4 with tempo i think okay he wanted to play this interesting choice he just has to play king g3 or something and you know black can never take on yeah, king h3 exactly yeah, yeah that's over because queen c2 and now there is no check. attack on c2 because of rook e8 check and yeah 
If yeah, queen c3 checked, then just queen g3. And now you're forced to exchange the queens. Yes. By the way, great game by... I have to say, like, he... Great game. By who? SL, SL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely, completely. Just a quick update for everyone. Um, it's It looks like um, Aditya has a good position. And uh, it also looks like Bharat is very close to being winning. Mm -hmm. So the, those are the other two leaders in the position in, in the in the standings. So again, it's going to be very neck and neck. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be I think I think I have to say that India has so much talent at this point. You just don't know, you know, one or two of these players, even people who have not played this tournament before might just be you know, next year you might, they might be the next Arjuns and Gukes and so on. Like it, it's mm. just, it's just insane how much talent India has in chess at this moment. I mean, I, I, yeah, as I think many people have already realized by now that in India is the future of chess, like somehow so many strong players, I really doubt any country has so many strong players. So white is still trying to find the correct way. He just needs one check. Black is controlling E8 for now. So there's no entry point so far. And he, he also wants to avoid any such ideas. Then that can become complicated. Um, so he's being very careful here. <clears throat> Naman Bai has different fantasies. I don't know why. What's wrong, Naman? What's happening in your personal life? Let me know if everything is okay. Is he going to H5 now? We did risk that. Okay, I mean, there's no serious risk, but you have to be careful, yeah? Of such checks later on. Yeah. I mean, with, everything is controlled at this point, so... <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. If you go to h5, right, you have to think about where can the queen give you a check to. The only square is f7. Right? All the yes. other squares are controlled right now. Yes. Yeah, this is this is this is chat completely winning. Of course, it's just about finding the like. Uh, I'm sure if you switch on the engine, they will find like some random moves. Like I don't know, allowing these checks. But as a human, you don't want to allow these checks. You just want to do it in a flawless way without a glimmer of counterplay for your opponent. And that's why SL is just moving around with this king, trying to find the best plan, putting more pressure on AD. Maybe AD, you know, renders himself and gives us something, maybe queen trade or whatever, like king g8, or then you can trade queens, even that is completely winning. So let's see, queen b7, keeping an eye on this diagonal, yeah? But now e8 is not controlled, so he has to be careful. Oh, now queen h5, queen h5 and rook e8, it's over. Game is over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's because you can't play king g8 because of uh, rook e8 check then. Yes, king f7. Yeah, this is over. H5. Yeah. Maybe king yep. h6. Uh, keeps the hope. What's happening after king h6? Because you don't have queen h5 check now. Maybe I have queen f4 and queen g4 then. Yeah, and then queen g6. Yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, then it should be over. So that is that is going to be a very important victory for SL because Aditya is also better. And uh, if Aditya can somehow win, then I think winning this game is really important from SL's point of view. Yeah, um, I mean, I'll also. Hmm. So. Uh, Bharat is winning and uh, Aditya is cl uh, clearly better and uh, Leon is also in a clearly better position against Pranav Anand. So oh. these are the three leaders in, in the game. So I think, um, yeah, this, this is a very, very crucial game for everyone. Yo, Vansh, I am Gary Kasparov. I challenge for a one minute bread game. I, um, I, I am inclined to believe you, Manish, but... Why would Gary come with a, a different account though? I really doubt it. Yeah. I mean, I have, I have my suspicions, like 5% doubt that maybe you're not Gary Kasparov. What do you think? Yeah. Saj? I think it could be also the fact that I have never heard those words from Gary in any way. <laughs> <laughs> no, you might have heard them. When was the last again, time again, you heard Gary challenging someone in bullet? <laughs> also true. Tell me. <laughs> also true. Also true. <laughs> Uh, is it for real about Indian talent? Because you see tournaments like GCC and only one third in top 16, while US has more savvy and young. Yes, absolutely true. I think US right now is the strongest team in the world. Uh, they have uh, talent coming in from all across the world. And they have many players for 2700. 
but the thing is i think in terms of potential talent like let's say 2 years from now 5 years from now it's very obvious india has the most number of players and uh, somehow you know just look at the olympiad so just before the olympiad like we were we did not have many 2700 players and now literally 2700 is not enough to get in the olympiad team so it has changed so much in the past 6 months itself 3 months itself that the trend is just we have like i think arjun and gukesh are world number 18 and 19 at this point and their rating is 2732 so they just gain like 20 points more and then the world top 10 so i think things are changing we i know us has young and uh, so on jeffy but they have a lower rating than arjun and uh, gukesh at this point by the way so i do think 2 years from now maybe in the next olympia or maybe next to that indian team will be so strong that you know maybe 275 will be needed for the olympia like in the next next olympia totally possible uh by the way sl has won the game chat sl has won the game ad has resigned after queen to f3 because there's the simple threat of this and mate the queen is helpless against it so with that sl goes to 22 points and is in first place right now so he's sharing the lead with bharat subramaniam let's have a look at what bharat is doing because if bharat wins then that will be great for him let's look at a game what do you think about this crucial game i think white is just crushing yeah Well, I think what is completely winning, yeah. I think black has wow. to sort of give up mid. Because you see, if you go, you you ha- you can either take the pawn on c7 and then you mm. lose a piece, or you go rook c8, mm. and uh, after rook c8, just knight b6, and uh, you know again you're losing so much material. So it's not yes. just a matter of being winning. It's just I think uh, you're winning material, which is obviously, um, mm. you know, in in situations like these when you're winning the tournament. I mean, when you're leading the tournament, you know. being in a winning position and being up in material are two very very different things right sail hmm true true uh to not embarrass you bharat, public... bharat also is getting a bit uh, excited yeah you, you can see sort of that he's um <laughs> he realizes he's winning and he's uh, trying to he, hold yeah. this hold yeah, his words his emotions in his mouth somehow yeah. like it felt like <laughs> to not embarrass you publicly sail i entered with the fake name To be honest, I think it would be less embarrassing, for example, to lose to Gary Kasparov uh, with somebody who has the title of name of Gary Kasparov than Manish Kaushal. So, if you really want to not embarrass me, I think coming with the name of Gary Kasparov might be actually better. <laughs> okay, C seven now. So, I think. By the way, you know, if he wins, he's going to go to twenty five points. That will be at least three points ahead. um uh from the second place player like i think because pranav might end up losing and so that sorry, means yeah do you do you, sorry for interrupting you but but yeah. do you remember how many points sl scored in the last leg uh i think it was much i think it was much higher last time because i think at some point uh, arvind was running away with it like there was i think there was 28 29 something like this it was i think almost 30 or something It was um, almost thirty, I think. But was it like a this. was it like a close race, or was it you know was he the clear winner? What was no, the... he was running away, and SL came back at the last in the absolute last rounds, and he and he won. So it was something like that. But um, uh, it was definitely a higher point. I think the tournament was also kind of uh, uh, this is a bit more closer tournament in terms of ratings. So that's why I think you have closer number of points here. So the thing is that uh, you know SL is going to play Pranav Anand, who is currently number two in the rankings in the last round. So will he will he make another an, another comeback like that? Yeah, possible, possible, possible. Yorkshire, hi, what's up? Uh, can't we just take the pawn? Uh, which pawn do you want to, uh, to want to take? By the way, uh, C seven pawn. He played. Okay, I think. After, yeah, he played rook c8 and queen takes queen takes and knight to b6 now. So you basically attack both rooks, and um, yeah, you win an exchange. Both are 28 points. SL won by tie break. See, I remember. Oh my god, my memory has improved. Yeah, 28. Wow. I thought my memory was really bad, but apparently it's really improved. Nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> by the way, black is like uh, I'm there too, buddy. <laughs> but I don't think it will work, unfortunately, because yeah, this pawn is still there. <clears throat> SL won the last last one, not this one. This one is still going on. He's still in the race, though. Uh, he's ranked uh, in first place actually this uh, up till now. But Bharat is still playing his game. 
uh, i yeah, think I mean, we should bharat also check and, bharat and uh, and sl have the same points but bharat if bharat wins and he is 3 points yes. ahead yes but still i think yes. sl will be number 2 provided hmm. that i mean if aditya wins and he's going to be number 2 at 23 points and then sl will be on 22 so let's go to their games one by one and check it out very quickly just the valuations in the position so we have uh, leon against pranav and um, hmm yeah this this looks this looks bad yeah I have B five under control. E five. You've got the good. You you. I mean, you've got your you know standard good bishop versus bad bishop kind of a situation yeah, here. Absolutely. Um, and the pawn on E six is a very very big target. Hmm. Like in the long run, this is this is where you want to you know put your most pressure on, and also the square on E five. That is you know that is enemy's territory, and you you have yeah. a sort of an outpost there, and your opponent's pawn cannot kick you away. So definitely, I think White has. Uh, a decent advantage in this position. So Pranav is struggling a little bit here. I think this is a very, very one-way. You're playing for two results basically. Um, then we go to the game of Aditya uh, very quickly against Indian. Uh, let me quickly open up that game. Yes. So Aditya so, is on twenty points. If he wins hmm. this round, he's going to be on twenty-three. Hmm. Which means, which would, which would put him on. Okay, he's winning an exchange because after queen takes b3, there is knight d2. Yes, yes. Okay, he's Although, winning an exchange. Would, so would, again, would, there is, me... there is. Sorry, again, there is a big difference here. I think being winning and being up in material here because I think that yeah. also sort of gives you that satisfaction. And you know, the, especially in such situations, you have so much stress because you know there's so much at stake. Um, and obviously they have the experience, but I think having. just being up in material sort of takes the stress away just a little bit so i think this is um, this is looking very good for aditya yes and somehow black has a pass pawn without this pawn it might be a bit more complicated to win this but um so if you were pawn... to take the b and the d pawns away hmm. uh, then this position is theoretically winning hmm hmm Yeah, True. this is but, this but, is just a theoretical. But with this pawn, position. I think it it might give White some chances. Like, let's say you just move this pawn. Okay, not in this position. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, that would give some chances. But yeah. I I'll explain now. So if you were to remove one, if if you were to remove the pawn on d five, okay, f four is not a good move here. I think you should mm -hmm. go f three probably just to try to commit less. But uh, okay, maybe f four also. But f four is going to hurt uh, Indian in the long run because this is where the king gets access. So let's say if you yes. if you were to remove one rook from the position, right? Let's say the mm. rook on d four. Let's say all the uh, all the pieces on the d file besides the d three bishop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. True, true. Let's say all of that gets removed. That also should be winning for Black because mm. Black can just mm. put the rook on b two, where it controls the rank and it controls the b pawn, and then the king can just come to the king side. Mm. I've I've yeah. seen many examples in 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 similar situations where, yeah, but also. It is very very unlikely that the d5 pawn or the b5. I mean, b5 pawn has way more chances of getting taken away. The d5 yes. pawn is because black yes. white simply just doesn't have enough forces to attack the d5 pawn. At this point, literally, you can bring the king to c5, even sacrifice the exchange, and you might be winning. So that's how bad it is. Yeah. So uh, I think I think uh, Aditya will win this, and that means he will go to um, 23 points ahead of SL. And by the way, Surya has also won. Surya is now on twenty-two points as well. Nobody is ready to give up yet. It's not even close to over. That is crazy. So crazy. Surya has defeated Abhimanyu, who's having well, uh, to put it mildly, a nightmare of a tournament. I hope he can come back next time. He he's a very very good player, and uh, not having the best of tournaments this time, unfortunately. And so, uh, <clears throat> just to clarify for everyone, uh, if Bharat wins the this this round, he will be on twenty five points, so he will mm. be the sole leader. Right mm. below him will be Aditya Mittal because he's also winning, and mm. he will be on twenty twenty three points. So there will be a two yes. point difference between Bharat and Aditya. And then after uh, Aditya, there will be Ganguly, there will be um, SL, who who will be on twenty two points. So Bharat has won his game. Bharat has yes. won his game. Yes, Bharat has won. Let me quickly show you the final position. So he once. is now. 
ियन who has chopped off a pawn on h7 that is just a sign of desperation i think um you know hoping for the best by picking up such pawns i think last time uh, i remember such happening was bobby fisher capturing this It did not turn out so well so bharat what is bharat's age bharat is i believe 16 years old um mm-hmm. sorry uh, uh 13 years old and uh, he will be turning 14 this year right Is it that young, really? Yeah, I think I think he's about thirteen or fourteen. Okay, now his birthday is on the seventeenth of October two thousand seven. Yeah, so he's fourteen now, and he will be turning fifteen. Fifteen, fifteen. <clears throat> was one one year off. Yeah, so that is as I said, there's so much talent. There is so much talent, man. It's just it's just hard to believe. By the way, what was yeah rook d three? I can just pick it up, right? I mean, no big that deal. That seems a, yeah. I mean, very now, elementary. Now this now. is very simple. <clears throat> Yeah, just king comes here, and I push the pawn, and he resigns. So now Aditya is thinking, you know, whether to play g six or whether to take on d three, and then you know just uh, push the d pawn. I mean, both of them should be winning. Yeah, g six should be pretty easy win as well. True, true. Yeah, this is as simple as it gets. Yeah, okay, g three. Yeah, rook a three, and just rook g three. I think it's time to resign. Yeah, resign. Okay, Aditya has won his game. Samosa so is better than coffee yeah. with Karan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sir, absolutely. <laughs> that sounds interesting but i think um uh, i will definitely think of that yeah some of us it sounds like a good show definitely i'll see which uh, celebrity I, I will, you want to I see i will join that show please yeah Before for sure for sure uh, which which celebrity would you like to uh, come along with if you had a choice which celebrity would i like to yeah, speak so let's say I'll, it was it was you know i'm the host with- so, so i'm the host with a guy who looks like karan johar how about that <laughs> no 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 i'm the host <laughs> I'm the host, and you have ch- the chance to bring one more celebrity along with you. So, who will you choose? Does it have to be a chess person, or does it have to be? No, like no, 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 no. Let's say Bollywood, yeah, random Bollywood cricketer, chess player, whoever it is, like Bollywood cricketer. Oh. Fabio Caruana, yeah, I think C Squared Podcast, yeah, nice, nice. Not Karyakin, I would say, uh, not somebody I would invite on my fancy podcast. <laughs> the youngest GM of India at the moment. Then I don't think so. Fifteen uh, apparently is too old nowadays for GM, considering how much talent India has. But Sahaj is googling which celebrity. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> who, who was the celebrity in that movie? I I forgot her name. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, it probably will be a chess person. Um. I've I've never really had a you know a one on one like a like a long, lengthy one on one with Anand before, so I would mm-hmm. definitely want that. I know many people have already done that, so it might be a little you know. <laughs> no, I, I mean the thing is, but I only uh, uh, like I had a chance a unique opportunity to commentate with Vishy Vishy sir and doing the candidates for one mm-hmm. stream, and if you count the number of words I spoke during that stream. You yeah. you won't need too many hands for that. Uh, so wow. yeah, <laughs> you know that's that's it. I mean, I have I have spoken with him briefly, but I have not you know had a chance to. You know, I've never never had a chance to have like a like like an actual conversation. So I would mm. absolutely love that. I think that's the person I would want to bring. Mm-hmm. Very good choice. Okay, so uh, what about by you? the way. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'm the host, so I I, I can call whoever I want. <laughs> I'll call no, everybody. No, but who, let's say let's say you're going to someone else's show, no? Ah, yeah, but then they choose, no? <laughs> I can't choose. Okay, so I either way, choose. so why did you make me choose then? <laughs> just for funsies. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay, so just for fun, <laughs> who would you? Yeah. <laughs> who is this? Game? Yeah, we'll get the game. We'll get the game. I think most of the rounds have finished. Let me update you on the results chat. So Arunya Ghosh has drawn against Sethu. Uh, Indian has lost to Aditya. That's a huge win for Aditya there. He is in second place with twenty three points now. Then Surya has won another huge win, twenty two points for Surya. Um, then you have Leon and Nubes still playing their games. SL has defeated Adiban, another huge win. And we also have we have of losing to Raja uh, Harshit. Yeah, Harshit also coming back. Battle there. of the Delhi boys. 
how are you selecting players for server wars there's a server wars really i don't even have a clue about it uh, sashwat when is the server war happening i have no clue uh <clears throat> <laughs> show me the games you can discuss gossip later <laughs> but <laughs> what are we talking about inviting vishy sir like it's not gossip right it's not like we are inviting some bollywood celeb no so it's like uh, learning about chess itself exactly. you never know uh, some day it might happen yeah someone some it's like you never know uh, anyway so which game is still going on by the way rook i'm a big fan of rook and rook and games let's look at this rook and game and this seems to be lost yeah for uh, yeah rook g3 and just uh, it's a uh, yeah only one pawn can be caught no so the pawns are mm-hmm. a bit too so like, there's also like a an interesting thing so it it is said that a rook alone cannot mm-hmm. stop two pawns on the sixth rank if both pawns are on the sixth rank so generally this applies when the pawns are connected but here because of the rooks the pawns can be seen as connected mm-hmm. because the rook is the one that is sort of connecting them and because the pawns are on sixth rank and the rook alone cannot stop them so now just something like h2 f2 and just rook g1 and the game is over yes and the rook will support both the pawns and only one can be stopped yeah that is the game so harshit winning uh, you know continuing his run he had a uh, one loss i think yesterday but he play he has uh, defeated web of uh, with the black pieces so that would be a great result for him and now we have two games going on uh that is leon against pranav and nubair against kartik and let's have a brief look at both the games first of all we have uh nubair leon, against... i think because uh, um i i i think it it, it looks quite exciting i think we'll Maybe. have a result here okay let's go to that game then oh wow okay so uh, it is leon is a pawn the... up um yeah. open file active pieces yeah queen on d4 queen on b3 you push the h pawns So I, just just to remind everyone else, the Pranav is was uh, number two in the standing. So just just at least getting a draw here is very very important for him to remain in the remain yeah. in the race. He'll be he'll be number three then, and if he loses, he'll be number five. And I think if if he loses this, I don't think he has a chance to get. It's literally impossible. I think. Uh, so he has to at least draw this to have any chance to get first place. Yeah. Um. Who is leading as of now? Uh, is this last day? Yes, uh, this is the third last round on the last day, and for now, Bharat Subramanian is leading. That to me, uh, when I look at the top five players, it is Bharat, Aditya, S L, Surya, and Pranav, and clearly the youngsters, the underrated youngsters, uh, having a huge, like a great result. Yeah, I would say it's like I don't think we could have predicted. Yeah, I think this being the top five lineup for now, and even sixth is Pranav Anand. So I just think this is. Um, people have the youngsters have really utilized this opportunity really well and of course we still don't know who the winner is um it's going to be interesting to see who does actually win by the way the time is also going to be a factor here for both players <clears throat> yeah yeah time uh yeah it's always a factor here so uh, actually quite interesting no because generally when we see this time difference the person who has less time is generally in a worse position but now yeah. we are seeing you know uh, white is being white being a pawn up and still having you know less time so this this will be quite interesting maybe pranav still has a chance because of time but then it's leon right i think leon is habitual he he, he, he yeah he is a great player i think that's true <laughs> yes the first place i think will get a chance and and also they might qualify they will qualify for the finals happening later i think it's in november it's not exactly clear yet and uh, usually first place second place is a huge difference i think so everybody really anybody in the top 6 i think top 5 who have a chance really want to get that place queen d6 played now controlling this but still the rook is so passive um I, there's no counter play there for black so far and if you play f4 then you also open up your king to checks along this diagonal so you also have to be careful <clears throat> Queen f four, okay. Activating the queen, the rook still defends b six. You know, I would be so tempted to play the move g three and then immediately regret it because you know after g three, black has this f four push and then so that's something you always have to worry about. Yeah. But especially in lower time, I would play this move so fast. Hmm. So black is just keeping his queen centralized, just irritating white a little bit, not giving him any sort of clear. Uh, plan to win this game that's very smart from black keeping the pressure on white because he's no time on the clock um <laughs> when 
ஒன்னும் <laughs> <laughs> Windy four. Yeah, maybe he's trying to gain some time. I think. I, I think it's. It's. What do you think about this style? Maybe it's. It's. It's smart to just play moves like you know, just moving the rook up and down just to get some time. Um, but True, I'm not but sure I, if. Uh, I think he's already done it for many moves now, though. I think at least for fifteen, twenty moves. So he can't do it too long. Along queen a four, I think. Uh, his plan is to play d six and then pick up b six. So, I assume that's the plan. Uh, White has. Kind of fighting very hard, yeah. Yeah, he's he's he, he knows this is his uh, crunch game. If he loses, I don't think he has any chance for first place because Bharat is already on twenty five or four points ahead uh, with only two rounds to go. So he has to draw this game at least to have any chance. Yeah, it's really minimum. important from his perspective. And Leon, of course, you know Leon doesn't have a chance to get the first place, but he he he's he's in the middle. He's there. He's had like a very interesting tournament. Some wins, some losses. but he of course wants to win this because he was dominating the entire game throughout <clears throat> so how would you invite sahaj bhai to play in sub battles i think sub battles are a thing of a past now i don't think anybody does sub battles nowadays i have not seen anybody do a sub battle for a long long while you have to be careful by the way you know um rookie 6 for example I, 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 i'm just thinking it might it, it might become a three fold repetition at some yeah place. exactly so i'm 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 guessing you don't have to claim it in a in in an in in this no. format right it, it will it, automatically it automatic. automatic so i think you know at this point you have to be very careful uh maybe rookie 8 i don't know just try to mix up things i don't know what you do but you have to be very very uh, careful here because i have seen the queen on d6 rookie 1 queen b2 queen a1 queen f3 queen d3 queen b3 i've seen all these positions and at any moment it could be a repetition and then you will just uh, uh really be mad at yourself that you did not notice this yeah because i remember just it was the chat just just, just mm-hmm. the chat understands um in in an otb event this thing is a lot harder because There are there are some rules in how to claim this sort of a repetition. So if the position arises three times, you have to be you. First of all, you cannot make a move and then claim the repetition. You for you have to call the arbiter and then yeah and then then you have to say that okay I'm going to play this move. I'm going to not that I have played it. I'm going to play this move and this would be a three fold repetition. And then the arbiter you know just uh, takes uh, takes your notation pad and the, and then just tallies the position. And if it's arising three times or if 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 it has come more than three times then uh, the game is automatically a draw but here it's obviously easier because because it's online and i think the software has that built in function where it's where it, if it comes uh, three times already then you don't need to claim it yep yep sajin so sahil have both fun to watch thanks a lot man chitej uh, uh, i think we will also have the ecc stream maybe i'm not sure yet <laughs> today but at some point later that is later. so nice Tikuchi is very good at answering a question without really answering the question. I did answer. I answered every question always, always. Sahil, every single Sahil, time. Sahil, sorry to interrupt you, but I think Leon yeah. just blundered. Queen c4 because d6 is not possible because rook takes d6, rook takes d6, and queen c1 check, and then queen f4 check and you pick oh. up the rook. So I think the slip, the win has just slipped away. That is going to be a huge break for Pranav. Wow. Leon must be really mad at himself. Now I would not say this is still completely like a drawn position because both sides seems to have their own imbalances like this pawn is still there. Um and black also has his own uh, pressure on a4 and some point might have a pass pawn. So I wouldn't say this is a still a draw like there could be mistakes but it is objectively equal now. Equal number of pawns he but lost the, the extra is, pawn. But the thing is Sahil that Leon has been winning this position for the for, for this whole time. So you know it's very common for 
for for any player you know to tilt in positions like these so i think it it will be a huge um, True. i'm just i i just hope this becomes a draw and he just you know not doesn't try to over push the position anymore which i think is unlikely True, but it's still possible think, because he has such but, little time. What happens is sometimes, right? Like you kind of under pressure because you're supposed to win. You're a pawn up. You lose the pawn. You're like, okay, now I'm not under pressure. I can just play chess now. But although I think Black has played the best moves and now he has a pass pawn of his own. So it's not going to be easy at all for Black. Because now earlier it was just, can White push this pawn? See, now he's trading Queens. He's like, I'm absolutely fine now. And if Leon takes that, then they would shake hands immediately. So yeah, this is going to be... Um, very unfortunate. I think this will end in a draw now, but great news for Pranav, by the way, because he maintains chances. He will go to 22 points and will be in tight third place. Pranav visibly quite happy. Well, well deserved draw. I think he is, he's, he's now still in the race. What do you think, Sail? Yes. By the way, um, okay, first of all, uh, going to um, mid often this weekend to meet top players in European club tournament. Ah, that's nice to know, yeah. Uh, do take photos of everybody if you can. Uh, I hope uh, looking at the COVID, I don't think there'll be any serious issues, but you can check it out. By the way, one player we completely missed is Karthik and Murli, who won his game against Nuber and is now on 23 points. That is, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. We did, we did completely miss this. Uh, so that yeah. means he is on tight second place. Yeah, so I think I think let's 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 clarify it for the ch uh, uh, for the chat. So we have Bharat Subramaniam on twenty five, Aditya Mittal yes. on twenty three, Karthikeyan on twenty three, uh, Surya on twenty two, SL on twenty two, and Pranav Anand on twenty two. So yes. these top six players are still, I would say, in the race to win. The rest, mm. the next person on seven, uh, who's coming seventh, is on seventeen points. So there's already mm. a five point difference between the sixth and the seventh place. So we can safely say that the top six players mm. uh, have the chance to 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 shoot for the title. So yes. it is becoming more clear now. Yes, and and the thing is, uh, I think at I think at after the next round, we might only have like a couple of players who have who are in contention, as far as I can see. So the next round might be the most important round of this tournament chat. So stay tuned. We'll be right back in just a couple of minutes with the second last round of this tournament. It's time to take control of your journey towards chess mastery. Magnus Carlsen introduces Chessable, the definitive solution for studying chess. Move Trainer uses the science of spaced repetition to identify your strengths and eliminate your weaknesses. There's no need to set up a board, remember which page you're on, or keep track of all the moves you miss. Move Trainer empowers you to go from the opening to the end game with confidence. It's a seamless, effective, and fun way to study chess. Choose from one of the largest online chess libraries in the world, with hundreds of titles ranging from classic books through to our exclusive chessable courses, including over 100 free courses. Get expert insights from International Master John Bartholomew, Grandmaster Sam Shankland, International Master Christoph Sulecki, Grandmaster Simon Williams, World Champion Magnus Carlsen, and hundreds of other instructors. Get started now and join our growing community of over 100,000 chess enthusiasts at chessable.com. Chessable, take control of your journey towards chess mastery. I'm ahead of the game. up my rocker but follow me i'm ahead of the game i'm ahead of the game i'm only ever slinging i'm working over time got a song and i'm the singer the melody the vibe i'm a prodigy logically i'm impossibly wanted to know remember my name they remember my name well i'm ahead i'm ahead of the game i'm ahead of the game 
of all, I think white goes queen f4. Here the move is still queen f5, right? You are following my games, you will see. I play a lot of games. Finally, guys, so much work for just one pawn. It's so much happiness. Hi everyone, welcome to our new video series. My name is Jan Gustafsson and I'm thrilled to be reunited with fellow Magnus Carlsen's trainers, seconds, Peter Heine Nielsen, Magnus Carlsen's head coach and Laurent Fressinet, Magnus Carlsen's French coach, are both here and we will be going through the World Championship match 2021. Our experiences with it, the games, what we prepared, where we felt things went well, where we felt things didn't go well. Peter, we have different perspectives because we were in different locations. Very much. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about it because you were in Thailand during all the match and I was in Dubai with the Magnus and the you know, his non-chess team. So I see some kind of debriefing where we will discuss what was the mood in Dubai, what was happening in the technical department in Thailand and we got to sort of basically compare notes and uh, yeah, get the two kind of inside looks uh, from the match. Very much so. And Laurent, we are actually in your private home. Thanks for having us. It's a big pleasure to, to welcome both of you and I'm sure it will be interesting to talk to you guys about the match. Likewise. So we hope you guys enjoy the series with our behind the scenes insights. <laughs> See you then. I kept Chessable a secret for three years at least, uh, and I was using it for myself. And I, you know, maybe never expected how, how big it would become. I have always been into games, and uh, I think games are fun ways to, to pass your time. Um, sometimes they can be educational as well, but I think chess is the perfect game that, that has it all. It's a game that not only entertains you, but also teaches you about life skills, from things like time management to the consequences of your moves or your actions. You know, once you make a move, you cannot take it back. I really fell in love with the game. And of course, given my competitive nature, I wanted to get better at it. And I found it extremely difficult after watching countless videos and reading some books. You would um, put, in, put in all that effort, and then when you get to the board, it's like, it all disappeared, it all vanished, and you performed at the exact same level you were before that. And uh, I looked around for a solution that could perhaps use the latest technology, the la latest learning science um, out there uh, to help you learn chess, and there was, there was nothing. So that's how the, the idea was born. I've been building things since I was 14, and I always enjoy bringing a community together around a product. And yeah, I mean, we got a lot of energy from the chess community as well. Uh, really from, from day one, when we announced Chessable, there was thousands of people who, who thought this was a good idea that had to be. Hello, hello chat. We are back with the second last round. And as promised, the games are going to be super exciting. We will have some sort of clue, definitely. After this round, we'll narrow it down to a couple of players, most likely. And as we know, Bharat is leading the event as of now. We have Aditya right behind. Then we have Karthik and Surya, SL, Pranav, all with this, all within, you know, um, a simple slingshot of, of, of victory. And we're going to start with the game of Karthik and against SL. Is the tournament over? Not yet, Ashad Bhai. Not yet. Two rounds to go. <clears throat> uh, at least we have some clarity, no? At least we have some yes. clarity as to who is the who is leading the event because there is a, there is a you know. A, there is a uh, like a disparity between number six and number seven. So at least we know number like top six players are now in the lead uh, for the title. And also it's like, you know, they're playing each other. So it's kind yeah. of also fair. So I think, for example, SL playing Kartiken, And then you also have um, like uh, Aditya playing Surya. So it's like kind of very, very fair in a way that they're playing each other. 
and the winner basically has chances and the loser will have no chances so sometimes you know tie breaks play more of a role than they should and this is definitely not the case you also have a very interesting game between raja and adiba and we'll also look at that game i think that will be interesting to look at uh by the way e4 by kartik and here sl bo important game for both players kartik and 23 points sl 22 uh whoever loses will definitely have no chance to get first place <clears throat> in these wise spectators are not allowed I, i'm not sure if they allowed or not i think somebody in the chat can provide more information but i think usually it's it might be because of covid or because of other restrictions it's hard to say because they want to complete the tournament um i'm not sure exactly uh, why though we have the sitting on the board and uh, kartikeyan is not going too fast with this he's taking his time knight f3 e6 <clears throat> okay text text okay What are H3. what are your predictions? What are your predictions for these uh, for this game? Let's say first. Um, so this is now uh is like a like a con. I think that it will become a time and over. It looks like it. So a very very sharp choice by SL. Um, you know what? I I have been I have been rooting for SL, and uh, I'm going to continue to do that. Ninety seven, very interesting move. So I mean, generally, you know, in when you play Taimanov, Khan, you know, any any type of type of these Sicilian openings, you have, you, you, there is there is a more chance of getting a result. So I think that's why SL, you know, who's known to be a more solid player, is going for these openings because he knows it's a must win situation. Hmm. But also, Murli is a very very <laughs> tricky player, extremely strong. Um. I I know because you know I I have I have played Murli basically, you know uh, since 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 national under eleven. <laughs> so uh, I mean SL SL wasn't around at the time, but I mean I've 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 known Murli for a very very long time. So I I I know he's a very tricky player. So in these situations, any it's anyone's game. Hmm. True. Uh, Raja has any chances? I don't think he has chances to get first place. Uh, he can have a strong finish though. and i think uh, if he could magically remove the first day he would be doing really well but unfortunately that first day really cost him yeah um that's why we say you know well begun is half done and he definitely suffered because of day one otherwise he's played great chess um by the way b5 played from black so probably the bishop goes to b7 and um i'm going to predict uh, i'm going to looking at the standings i think we definitely i think kartik and somehow has gone under the radar a little bit i think he was doing really well i think he lost two games uh yesterday back to back in the last two rounds and that's why he kind of fell back a little bit but he's now won today in the morning um and now uh, yeah and nobere and leon versus his last two victims and now if he can win against sl that will give him great chances however sl has a plan of its own uh, of his own and he would not like to cooperate with kartik in here let's see <clears throat> He castles on the king side. By the way, we also have uh, one more important game that will be between Aditya and Surya, which definitely has progressed to a more uh, advanced stage. So let's have a look at the position: knight c3, bishop b3, d5, e4. I think we saw this line in, in some other game as well. I can't recall. Okay, d3, queen e1, d2, queen e2. Uh, so as we saw this line somewhere, right? Recently, I've seen this somewhere. I forget where it is. I saw in some recent game, maybe not in this tournament. Queen e one, uh, knight takes. I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Ah, it was Vidit. Vidit's game. I think Vidit against somebody. Um, I, I definitely saw this line in a Vidit game recently. So knight c five, bishop c eight was the move he also played. I think h four, bishop takes, and now, um, I think it's Kazim down over against Vidit. Yes. Kazim down over against Vidit. He also played the move h four. Yes, I remember that game now. Yes. <clears throat> He, I think, took with the knight. If I'm not mistaken, although I'm not completely, I don't remember for sure. So uh, this game is also very important. Aditya against Surya. The winner again has great chances. Who is leading right now? It is Bharat, which is a big surprise. Um, I don't think we expected Bharat to be leading after with two rounds to go, but he is. And um, yeah, I think he's playing well right now. Just a brief look at his position. um and uh, this is an all important game even a draw would be pretty good for him i think he maintains his lead there at least first place guaranteed and will have the white piece in the final round so 
that is not a bad deal at all going back to the game of i think let's go to the game of uh, aditya i think that looks interesting <clears throat> yeah so i mean crazy positions all around yeah yeah you can see yeah. that everybody wants a win obviously yeah so we'll nobody <laughs> exciting chess yeah. yeah 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 i think that kind of makes sense yeah draw will not get you too far here i think after a draw you have no chances so both players realize i think taking chances uh, uh it's better to take some chances and not feel any regret at least even if you end up losing it's a, it might end up being almost the same aditya is taking his time is deciding between hg yeah hg5 mm. also makes more sense cuz now you have more mm. you know this is again that h pawn attack we were speaking about mm. uh, i think two days ago in that alpha 0 conversation mm. exactly this g3 king g2 rook h1 i mean mm. um this this is such a nice idea right just mm. to I, i mean generally you try to just sacrifice the h pawn and then you you know get the rook on the h5 but now hg5 works mm. the same way mm. And now like, I guess you could just pick up this pawn I assume. This pawn okay, the, is... so the knight on c5 can so if you play queen d2 queen c5 there is a tactic in this position so I, I can play rook c1 mm -hmm. and attack the queen queen goes to b6 and then just rook takes c6. Mm -hmm. And then so, you have this uh, maybe maybe you should play this out here rook, rook c1 queen b6 rook c6 queen c6 and just bishop d5 and now you are winning an extra pawn. Mm -hmm. So this could be um, and this knight is also still yeah you. rather uh, weird because it has no squares as of now. Going back to the live position. So now this knight is attacked. So also this pawn. <clears throat> yeah, and black is like Surya has seventeen minutes here. so he is definitely had a deep look at this position and that kind of tells me i am be correct yeah i think this did happen in kazim dano vidit i think maybe maybe i am correct because uh, he seems to be in prep and aditya is definitely calculating over the board we need to play it now setu by the way has gained a net apparently against although it's a king's indian structure so it's hard to usually trust uh Uh, yeah, King's Indian structure. You know, the computer always says that white is better, yeah. but you, you cannot believe it. <laughs> yeah, it's very similar to Benoni type of positions. You know, mm. where again the engine will always say white is better, but okay, it's not so much the case. Mm. Very important round chat because we still have six players who have a chance. Anybody who loses is basically out of first place contention, and that means this round becomes really crucial. Really, really crucial. By the way, whose shoes you would you want to be? Bharat, Aditya, Kartik, and Surya, SL. Like, who would you want to be here uh, for best chances? I think Bharat is the obvious choice, but still, like uh, looking at the opponents and so on. Like I, I, I think, I think Bharat. Looking at the opponents, I would, I would also go with Bharat because um, Bharat is the only uh, guy. I mean, first of all, he's leading the event. Secondly, he has you know one black and one white, and 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 I think the most important point is that he's playing opponents who are not. like in the race uh like who are not part of the top 6 mm. so he's not uh, you know um so i think it's i i think i think it's a lot um better playing mm. opponents like that because you know there is there is that easiness you know mm. there is there is no stress when it comes to yeah, that yeah your so opponent is not out to kill you yeah <laughs> he's yeah. not playing for blood yeah true <clears throat> and 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 who would you pick Yeah, Bharat. I think the, the two point lead definitely makes a big difference, and uh, he he also plays Raja in the final round, and Raja is the lowest seed of this tournament on paper. If maybe I'm mistaken about this, but at least one of the lowest. So that definitely gives him gives him some good chances there. Hmm. Yeah, but Raja is performing. I mean, he's coming. I mean, yeah. he has fifteen points. So even hmm. though he's the lowest seed here, I think he's he has done fairly well. well. He also beat Setu. He beat Vaibhav just now. Hmm. So he has been doing decently, but I think I, th I think that that element of you know not playing guys who are in the in the top six that mm. that that sort of is a decider for me. Oh, but I think it also depends, right? Because if he's in the lead, that helps. But if he was like tied with worse tie breaks, then you really do want to play those players. Otherwise, because uh, if they win, you have no chance. Yeah. Yeah. 
ke surya not taking up deep think okay so an interesting sort of development in bharat's game mm-hmm. maybe maybe we can go there for just a second yeah so here after queen d2 black has bishop h4 check which is okay. very very strong in this position so the idea is that if you play g3 then i have you know this break with f4 which is possible at any time and you know white's unable to castle on the king side or the queen side so i think that doesn't look very nice and if white goes bishop f2 instead of g3 then you just take the bishop and now the good bishop is gone and i think black is slightly better here already yes true true absolutely true okay but, but he goes with queen e8 yeah difficult to play bishop h4 though i think it is yeah, yeah completely completely i mean i have like b6 like b6 maybe now bishop h6 uh oh, sorry bishop h4 now it seems a lot more logical because bishop f2 sort of you know there is there is that knight on b6 that is hanging because the bishop will be pinned i mean you can even take and maybe take on b6 i think bishop h4 looks a lot more attractive here hmm i think if he finds bishop h4 then uh bharat will have a decent advantage he has by the way 7 and a half minutes look at the time on the clock webov clearly has come with a strategy i think he really wants to put pressure that's very obvious to me at least um there's so much difference in on the clock and bharat this, this clearly pressure, means yeah? that this clearly means that either webov is playing fast deliberately or or you know the like, like the worst thing in, in in like any situation is that when you think you know your prep but it's not your prep mm. <laughs> true True. You know the you know that half memory it it never works out well. <laughs> it never works yeah. out well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I remember this case by I think it was uh, I, uh, GM Devashish Das who once said you know he was playing this game uh, in Netherlands, and then his rook was on e8, and he, he he in his prep he remembered he had chosen one of the squares on uh, like it was e3 e4 or e5. but he wasn't mm. sure which square it was <laughs> one mm. was drawing and other two were losing and he just could wow. not remember he could not calculate could not figure it out he played it to i think one square and it was and he lost the game so it's like yeah i mean sometimes it's difficult yeah by the way black is breaking in the center now with the white king still there on e1 so i think if you take this you can't allow the pawn to come to e3 completely yeah is this is classical yes i think it is classical uh, and uh, it's only seven rounds though and it will be one round per day just play learning system and crush everyone exactly we that, have that. we have a very interesting development now uh, sahil aditya okay. seems to be completely winning against surya wow completely winning maybe Whoa. we should go to that game yeah e6 on the board uh, white sacked a piece and now e6 and If you take, then just g4 knight will hang. Either bishop e6, bishop g4, or queen e6, queen g4. I don't think it really matters that much, and white will just be an extra pawn up. I think we left it somewhere here, right? And after queen e7, he queen d2, queen c5, rook c1, whatever. Is, oh, he played queen d6 instead. And uh, after the move, bishop b7. Now he played e6. And the problem is the knight on g4 is just unfortunately placed. And uh, yeah, this is just going to be. Uh, Yeah, very very huge win for if if he wins and it this will be this will be an unbelievable um comeback because now um as as we mentioned aditya is coming second so he's on 23 points so a very good yeah. chance that uh, he will um if if he wins he might just take the lead yes who all are playing in the ecc i think you have carlson playing there you have rapport pamidaro from the a uh, top players from across the world but among indian players you have almost everybody playing yeah you have uh, i think apart from parak you have all the top players playing like vishi is playing himself uh, uh, nehal is playing vidit is playing hari krishna is playing erigesi arjun is playing um i think gukesh is playing uh, i think i got all the players who are playing i think all these players are playing for different clubs though so you might see also th- them playing each other so that might also happen and th- them playing kalsan by the way that might also happen Although there are seventy teams in total, so it's not clear yet. With seven rounds, will they get to face Carlson? But it is a possibility, at least in the second half. Why are you not playing? I think we can discuss this later. <laughs> 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 I'll get back to you on this. Why? Uh, by the way, E six played now. Uh, so what happens now? I think Black just 
is going to be under huge trouble um there's no clear answer here for him unfortunately <clears throat> yeah the pieces are just so disco- like you know not not like un- uncoordinated and also the knight on g4 is completely undefended so and, that knight doesn't yeah. have any safe squares to go back to you know the queen is out of place you're right the knight is out of place the bishop is you know a bit awkward you can't move the knight you can't move the knight i mean you can't move the rook <laughs> It's yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Rook D8, but I just take on F7. I don't know with a pawn on F7. I mean, if yeah, yeah, just take on F7 and Queen F4 or Queen E6. Yeah. You know, because the knight on G4, as I mentioned, doesn't have any safe squares. Yes. So the knight will be taken. I think Queen E6 is probably more precise because then um, there is no Bishop C8, for example. Hmm. Yeah. I. I mean, Rook F7. I think you can just take and go Queen F4 check. Yeah. Yeah, also true. Also true. I was thinking King H8 most likely, and now Queen E6 makes most because now after uh, there is no Bishop C8 because then the C6 Knight also hangs. Mm -hmm. Um, with Tikuji, it will be unfair. I mean, if if anybody plays the London, it will be unfair though. I think it's not just me though. I think anybody. Is it a team event? Yes, it is. It's a team event. I think six players on each board. So you have like a lot of players. I think like six hundred players, five hundred players playing this event. So uh, I'm sure there are players as well. So yeah, it's a huge event, yeah. <clears throat> While he's trying to calculate uh, the best way to, f I think although EF seven is kind of obvious. Yeah, EF seven. I think he's probably <clears throat> going to play very soon. By the way, uh, apparently, Kartiken is uh, winning against SL. Let's check out that game very quickly, because if you look at yeah. the position, this reminds me of those B five sacrifices. Yeah, Bishop B five, yeah, 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 yeah. B five. I think. I think that's what happened. Happen. No. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, Bishop comes to F four. That's already a warning sign. <laughs> Bishop D six. Yeah. Yes. Queen C seven. Queen D two. Ninety seven. I think this is the moment. I assume. Hmm. This looks so tempting. Yeah, takes takes check, takes takes, and now. Uh, this is a very common sacrifice chart, by the way. Like in this incident, this happens a lot. Uh, white basically removes the entire black queen side, and now you can see the problem for black. So you basically have these passed pawns cruising through, and these pieces can be helpless sometimes against these pawns. And with the black king not even castle, like sometimes black is like the king. You you, you can even connect the pieces like this, and sometimes it's just lost. And the king on f8 is just rather awkwardly placed. Knight has well, yeah, it's not doing much either. Yeah, h5 played trying to maybe. Bring the rook in the game, but this looks this looks uh, very difficult. And <laughs> interesting, another interesting fact: um, Vebhav seems to have gained an edge here against uh, Bharat. So the standings are a complete mess. I have to admit. Although this is not over by any stretch of imaginations, uh, I think uh, this square is still uh, blacks. But I think now just bishop d4, saving the bishop, and this bishop is the monster, yeah, uh, controlling the board. Okay, you know when you asked me who who would I want to be mm. in this situation, I changed my answer. <laughs> Kartikeya. <yeah? laughs> <laughs> no, no, I would. I think I would be. I think I would be Aditya now because you know that's a that's a very nice win to have. <laughs> true, true, true. Kartikeya yeah, also. Yes. I mean, Kartikeya and Aditya are, are, are on twenty three, so they're both going to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. In the lead, if they win. Yeah, true. And this is the, yeah, the standings are not decided. I think we might. I think uh, by the end of this round, we might have two or three players max who have a chance. I don't think uh, it's not possible. So I think maybe even two players only. I think we'll have a chance of first place, and that's uh, pretty co common. I think we usually have two players. Although this game is not over yet, I think uh, this is still going on. Let's go back uh, to which game do you want to check out now? Let's go to Aditya's game. Some okay. developments there. Uh, Queen e six is on the board. Yes. This knight is attacked, and I don't know what to do with this knight now. This just seems to be over, yeah. Sahil hiding his candidate spread by not playing in ECC. Yes, that's exactly yes. the reason. Yes, yes, uh, yes, definitely. Uh, Shitesh is definitely not uh, shy about his emotions. By the way, this is over. No, like there's nothing to do. It's just completely over, right? There's no yeah, defense for the is, knight. This it's is got, dead lost. This is lost. I think if this is classical, we. It, it, 
Surya would have resigned by now, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, not only you're g- getting the piece back, but that pawn on f7 is just so <laughs> yeah. dangerous. That is, that is. Yeah. I mean, how will you solve that problem? Uh, and the thing is, it might. I think it's g6 might happen as well. <laughs> yeah. But you know, a few moves ago, Surya had this choice of you know just taking the pawn on e6. So that in, I mean, that way your pawn on f7 would not be there. Like in this mm-hmm. case, you know, just f e6, queen e6, and just queen takes g4. Yes, I mean you're losing the piece here, but. In this case, there is no pawn on f7. I mean, I, it, it, it's still quite worse, but uh, yeah, I mean, you, it's not uh, it's not as bad. But I think with the pawn on f7, this just looks completely lost. Hmm. Why is Bharat not playing in the under 16 Olympiad? I, I'm not sure exactly what the lineup is. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, not entirely sure. Uh, we'll have to ask him, I guess. Okay, now this. Yeah, but India yeah, has now... also a very nice team in the World Olympiad right now. We have, mm-hmm. I think, we have Pranesh, mm-hmm. um, who's 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 a, an, an I mean, a fantastic talent. I think he recently became a GM. If I'm if I'm correct, I could be mm-hmm. wrong. But he's very close to being a GM. Do you know about Nowadays, this? I think this having side? having the having the letters PRA in your uh, name really helps. Yeah, if you want to. Be <laughs> GM, exactly. I can <laughs> see. <laughs> Or Anand also. Uh, okay, by the way, do you think Surya is? Yeah, he played Rook D four. I mean, I can just take the knight yeah. and just uh, yeah think after. Yeah, Rook C six probably. Oh no, not Rook C six because then you no, can I, take. I, I just take yeah, knight the takes, yeah, queen take takes, and uh, um, just take here. Yeah, just rook c6 now nah? because after yeah. queen f4, there's always g3. So takes, 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 queen f4. And now g3, you know, protecting everything. Queen g5 and just, I don't know, queen d6 or something. Or maybe even queen e8. <laughs> yeah. Queen e8 is just fancy. Yeah, yeah. Now just, yeah, you, maybe you can even take on f8. But okay, rook, okay no, not rook e1 here yeah, because it's queen f2. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> then that would be, uh, you know, yeah. the tables will turn. Yeah, maybe not queen e8 then. I think it's just it's unnecessary. Just go queen d6 or something. That that mm. that way you'll have to play queen d8 and then d8, I can just take yes. it. and that's just lost. Yes. So um, let's go to the live position here. Um, yeah, this is the live position. At least we are trying to activate some pieces, I guess, and keep this knight on g4. He feels this is his only hope. Um, but I think uh, Aditya has a lot of time on the clock. So it's if this was like maybe. 10 seconds when we start some hope, but this looks difficult. <clears throat> okay, all the results, nothing, nothing clear at all. Uh, by the way, Pranav also seems to have a worse position against, slightly worse against Nobert. So all the players, I think, yeah, many might get knocked out from first place contention uh, after this round. Uh, Aditya seems to be winning. Vev seems to be better. Very interesting. Although I think this game will be the first to finish. We can stick to this game, I think. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, he also has enough time. So I think he will find the right True. way here. True. Standings, Hemang, I think Bharat is in first place. Aditya second. Karthik in third. Surya fourth. SL fifth. And Pranav sixth. Although it's kind of tight, but these are the top six players. How many rounds left? Two more rounds, including this one. So one more round after this. And that means uh, if you lose this game, I think... Uh, that's pretty much it, it in terms of uh, first place. It's a very, very crucial round to just, you know, um, this probably decides who will stay in the standings and mm. who is out. True. It's almost like it's, it's, it's giving you that knockout feeling, you know? <laughs> True. Yeah, he's taking his time. He's not hurrying a little bit. Yeah, he's like, okay, I don't need to hurry with anything here. He's taking his very time. Is there anything else he might be considering though, uh, apart from like knight d4? I think maybe rook c6 is another choice. Mm-hmm. The similar idea, just take on c6, I think might yeah might not change. Just a different mode, I guess. I mean, I think yeah, he takes on d4. Take takes on d4. Takes on d4. Yeah. You can't take with the knight because the queen is lost. So he takes with the queen now. And then why just sacrifices uh, a rook for two pieces? Always, a, but not always, but mostly a good trade. Hmm. 
there's probably also just you know bishop d5 that looks quite interesting okay rook d1 that's also nice because after queen f4 you have i mean he's basically forcing the trade of queen so queen f4 there is queen d6 hmm. and now you have to trade and then black's counterplay is completely gone and the issue is even if you don't get all the pieces back somehow this pawn ensures more than enough play the king is cut off and uh, this will be an easy victory yeah i, I just yeah it, there's nothing to do we never for play now okay both moves possible as of now although you know if you, you feel a bit nervous what will happen after queen e8 after queen e8 there is a mate on h2 that's what he is trying to avoid yes. that's why white played g3 in this position oh okay so he's just taking the i i, I don't get uh, g3 so much i think queen d6 was maybe a bit superior here maybe i'm missing something but queen g5 probably that's the only move right otherwise you lose the knight on g4 yeah i know imagine this pawn not being here and somehow black having a pawn and suddenly black pieces are really active yeah so mm. this f7 pawn really is a important uh, part of this position so now i mean you have to i mean white has to make a few sort of direct moves to not give black this attack on the king side so maybe something like queen e8 now since there is no mate in one thread so queen e8 mm. makes a lot of sense and black will probably go queen c5 and also by the way as i i think you can also play queen e8 here as shashwat said yes you can play it here as well oh yes Don't yes yes here queen here yes it's possible yes also possible now queen d6 maybe and i think that's why he didn't go for it yeah so g3 is, uh, and i i i think it can just be parried away yeah? there is there is no mm. threat here mm. but it looks a bit dangerous though because after knight e5 you know you have some checks coming in Yeah this is like you know even if you're completely winning uh until it's an elementary end game or something like that i think there's always tricks and nervousness can get to you and once the clock starts going down into seconds like you might we have seen people miss mate in one we saw prag miss it so it's totally possible you know like you can have uh critical errors during time pressure in, in such knock in literally knockout matches so i think uh any game is not over until it's over yeah no no completely agree completely agree I mean, this is what I was saying in the previous round. You know, having having more material is like that. It gives you mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. convenience. Mm -hmm. Takes the stress away. You can see uh, that there's a, he looks a little stressed right now. Mm. Queen g five played. Yeah, now just queen e eight, even queen d six. I think there is many different ways to win here. Um, Shethi is asking, how do players analyze positions on the board? Is it only by experience, or there are some things to check for, uh, Saj? Um, it depends on the position, obviously. But you know, there is there is a there is a process that most players follow, and and uh, this this process is you know you can uh, like one of the foundations of analysis comes from the book Think Like a Grandmaster from uh, by Alexander Kotov. and in in this in this process he he teaches you the concept of candidate moves and then i think every i think most sort of uh, experienced players have read that book or you know had their coaches read the book and then you you've gotten the you know the important parts of the book and uh, uh like over time uh, like with this with this method you sort of develop your own sort of intuition with analysis and it's 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 just, it's not an exact set of rules because every position is different so every every approach has to be different or your approach has to you know sort of adapt to it and uh, yeah so i think uh, once once uh, once you have you know established the foundations of analysis you know the basic steps then you can sort of experiment on your own and see what works best for you by the way this is i think over yeah Charlie, we'll have a look at the standings as soon as the round finishes. I think in just around uh, five ten minutes, because um, because there are six players in the running, but at least three of them will probably be out of uh, first place, because now the rook is hanging and there are not many ways you can defend this. In fact, I think uh, queen c five seems to be one way, but then there is rook to d five, and I think this is just over, yeah. Yeah, this is just over because uh, the queen e one. Queen seven, and just sorry, takes takes I... and rook d seven, yeah. Yeah, you mean you mean this? No, no. Take on e seven, take on e yes. seven, and rook d seven, and just yes, you're that's... losing. 
material. Yes. So queen c5, I think the rook d5, it's, it's the same idea. Queen c5 played, yes. And now rook d5, just, and luckily this is defended this time. Our Indian players will be playing very strong players in ECC for the next 10 days. I hope our guys end up extremely happy by the tournament. Yeah, so, you know, this is going to be interesting because, um, you know, we never want to see Vishy lose any rating. Like, I hope that doesn't happen. But it is hypothetically possible that we might have a new India number one. It is possible. Uh, difficult, however. But I think regardless, uh, we'll see some changes in the ratings for sure. I don't think India number two and three will be the same because... There's also Hari Krishna there playing. He's also right behind. There's Vidit playing. He's also right behind. So we might see some drastic changes in the rankings, but uh, and it will also be a great experience because we'll also see them play each other most likely. So that will also be fun. And also the world champion, by the way, there are at least two or maybe at least a couple of them will end up playing Carlson. So that'll be interesting to see. And Carlson, you know, has never been so determined in his entire life. He's really determined to play his best chess and he just crushed everyone, yeah, in the uh, tournament, like in the uh, main CCT when we saw last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen B4 doesn't help. Yeah, A3, just, yeah, it's over because you, you get the bishop, but I get your king. Yeah, that's over. I think it's I think it's time to resign. I think Aditya will win this. And Aditya, if he wins, he will go to 26 points. That will be first place, knight f6. So uh, I guess just take the queen and you get a free piece as well. Chat, this is second last round. Second last round, we will have the winner of this event in just I think roughly one one hour, one hour, one, one and a half hours. And uh, we, we still have six players in contention for first place, but I think. Um, that's going to change pretty quickly. I mean, White can also play something like rookie one just to be, you know, just to not play the end game. So after rookie one, the queen on b4 has no squares to go to. True. True. So I think after rookie one, I think if he plays rookie one, I, I, I will expect a resignation here. Hmm. As soon as the game finishes, we'll switch to the other game because uh, um, the SL game is also super important. So is the web of game. Kartikin seems to be still winning against SL. Aditya is taking his time. Yeah, you can see him fully focused, fully focused. He he knows he has it within his grasp. He really wants to win this game. Carlson playing full potential just to clarify that he didn't really quit, quit off. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, uh, I think, uh, I'm not sure what the exact reason is, but for sure, I think he wants to uh, play his best chess. He's always had the goal of reaching 2900. I think that really motivates him as well. I think we never should forget that goal. And um, he lost a few points uh, against Hans, so he has to catch catch up with those. And yeah, it's a great tournament, yeah, with Vishy playing and so all Rapport playing, Mamidyaro, with the Gukesh. So he has a chance to play the, uh, the experienced players and the youngsters in the same tournament in a classical event. And he he would love to get that uh, get closer to his goal, yeah. Yeah, Ruki one played by the way, he played your move. And now I think uh, this is as you said. Yeah, now I will expect it. I mean, unless uh, Surya wants to, you know, sack his queen and then I mean yeah, I don't think he will play that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you mean Queenie 1? No, I don't think so. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, I don't think he will go Queenie 1, no. Yes. Yeah, he, Surya does not look happy with this position. He's shaking his head. I think we'll see him resign. Uh, soon. Two minutes for him, less than two minutes now. We have we are going to have a lot of results in this round, chat. I think we might have like literally all results. It's totally possible. Everybody going for the kill. I thought only the people like the top six, but everybody, everybody. I urge you to go to chess 24 once and just see the valuation bars. It's just like white, black, white, black, white, black. There's no gray area there. <laughs> so everybody's just going after it. Surya is still thinking, but he's trying to 
maybe come for some one last trap but unfortunately the queen is just run off squares yeah the sn pawn is hanging the game yeah i think i think uh, yeah maybe is uh, maybe we will play off the queen one who knows i think he's trying to come for something else i don't think he'll play for this i think that's just I mean, what else can you do? No, otherwise, yeah. just the queen on yeah. b4 yeah. is hanging. Yeah, so you you end up losing the queen anyways. True. I think I think uh, this is this is going to be a very important victory for Aditya. By the way, uh, yeah. I I'm sure he knows it, and he will go ahead of Bharat Subramaniam. That means he will go to first place, and then will quickly yeah he takes on e1. So he is playing on. He is not uh, giving up yet, but. Yeah, I I think this is too many too many tactics and the extra queen on e one is like mm. uh, yeah um, let's just finish up. The having job an now. extra queen is always nice, no? Yeah, true, true, true. You know, I remember this uh, story when uh, I was under it, so I was playing this uh, tournament, and um, I I saw a, a couple of players playing, and it was just a random tournament, I think. So, <laughs> uh. I think the white's opponent basically played queen g5 and white just took the queen on like the third move. <laughs> no, no, and no, no, no. Uh, white was very kind yeah he was like okay you know what i understand you asked. let's play the game we can you can take it back. <laughs> and then white lost. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that is so sweet. So so when you are a queen up just finish it off. Uh, i think mm -hmm. uh, as carlson said once we are not in the charity business here <laughs> during mm -hmm. bank tablets. Um <clears throat> Yeah, so you are still thinking. I don't, I don't know what does he. Okay, uh, Aditya is actually thinking right now. I think he's trying to come with the clearest way. I think maybe lots of things going through his mind. Um, of course, he's a queen up, but uh, you know, the stress is obviously there. Why not just rook d six here? That seems to be. Yeah, rook d six. I mean, this back piece is so tied down. You can't move this knight because of queen e eight. Um, Basically, if you, you you just want to remove the b7 bishop. Yeah, that's the, yes. that's the main piece that yes. that provides any counterplay. So once exactly. that bishop is gone, there is nothing in the position. Exactly. Exactly. This back rank for now is a is a pain, and uh, White can gain a few tempies and use this to just finish it off. I think Aditya has been really calm though. I think he's been so calm in this entire game. He's not hurried because many of us will hurry in many positions where he just calmed down. So he's taking it very slow. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. He blundered something. This is rookie. Yeah, this is, yeah. yeah this, is, this is going to be one up. So rookie, we just take. Knight takes, queen takes e7. Yep. And that's going to be the knight is hanging. Mate, well, yeah, mate is threatened as well. So that should so be. Yeah, Aditya has won. Aditya has won. He goes to first place with 26 points. Let's go to the game of Bharat Swarmaniam, who's on 25 points and see what's happening there because, well, uh, now the stakes are much, much higher. But the things but things don't look great for Bharat at all. The A5 pawn is a beast here. What do you think, Saj? Yeah, I think... Uh, um, so white has the a5 pawn, black has the e3 pawn, but the problem is that uh, there is a fork in this position. So I can play rook takes, let's say black goes rook takes d5, I have rook takes e3. Exactly. It's quite smart because if bishop takes e3, then I have 97 check and then knight takes d5. And then the, you know, the a5 pawn is still something that black has to deal with. Yes. So I think uh, Bharat is in some serious trouble here, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Although I would still say maybe some practical chances, but honestly, uh, White seems to be in control. Maybe we can have a, also a look at the game of uh, uh, I think SL and Karthik Ken because that game is also very crucial to the standings. Both these players fighting here, and uh, White seems to be in proper control here. I, I think Black has a pass pawn, but hmm. Yeah, I mean, you may you might have some practical chances mm. here, but yeah, it's mm. um, looking at the time. I think uh, yeah, Mur Murli is definitely winning here. Mm. 
if Karthikin wins, I think he will also go to 26 points. So he'll join Rita in the first place. And if Weber wins and uh, Bharat loses, I think that will pretty much give us the top three who will have a chance. So it'll be Aditya, Karthikin and Bharat. So these three will be the ones who, who will have chance for first place. And then the ra- last round will decide. Of course, the matches are not yet over. So we should not get ahead of ourselves. But yeah, this is going to be the most likely scenario. <clears throat> By the way, Arunak Ghosh has won against Mitraba. That's yes, that is over. And uh, let's go back to the Bharat game because I'm curious how he, uh, how we have converts this. Yeah, black has 40, black has 40 seconds also. So that doesn't help either. I think he, he played King F8. He played King F8. Oh, yes, he gets out of this check and now he threatens the D5 pawn. Knight to B6, okay. Defending the pawn. Now maybe. Yeah. I assume even B5 is a serious threat, yeah? Yeah, but that, I mean, black can't really guard against that threat. Then maybe Rook F2 makes sense. So to just push E2 and Bishop D2 and yeah, try to do mm. something there. Hmm. Okay, let's say b5. I'll play e2. Now the question is, do I bring the knight back? Or do we just take? Both look okay, actually. By the way, okay, he played bishop. Okay, let's go back. He played bishop d8 instead. Okay, so now he... Isn't the e3 of... pawn hanging now? Yeah, exactly. I think he kind of stopped this idea, but isn't e3 just falling? e3... Probably wants to take here and then take on d5 and play rook b5 and chop it off. I guess that's the plan. Rook e3, bishop b6, a b6, rook b5, and then play this. But yeah, but this is still lost. Um, rook a3, rook a6, or something. I think he can also uh, go with this like, sort of like a smart move order, like b5 first. Hmm. So AB5 and now Rook E3 because now the Rook on D5 cannot go to B5. So if yes, you take, that's... let's go through the same continuation. Now the pawn on B5 blocks the Rook from going to B to the B file. So I think including yes. B5, just yeah, that is that's a very very smart move. So B5 would definitely be uh, a very tricky move here. He plays Knight D7 instead, so he gives a check to the Black King. Uh, black comes to f7, but this definitely makes it a bit more complicated, right? Because the knight is rather stuck in an awkward scenario here. Oh, he wants to go um, knight b8 and knight a6. So that, I, I guess that makes sense. But uh, yeah, I think I, I would just take on e3 the first chance I get, you know, just to remove the counterplay from the positions. Okay, so he went bishop g5. Bishop g5. Back. Knight a6, rook d5. Yeah, that makes sense. Rook d5, then just knight c7, and then you just push the pawn. Yeah, two connected pass pawns should be um, an easy one. Black yeah. also has two, by, but uh, somehow the d6 pawn is just way back. <clears throat> yeah, rook d2. I think this is the last plan, I guess, but I just don't see it working. Uh, it's just not enough play. Yeah, so Webov, of course, uh, you know, definitely lowering Bharat's chances there. So Bharat was leading by two points. Now he's lagging by one point on third place, most likely, because Kartikeyan is also winning. Now Pranavanand has lost, unfortunately, to Nubair. Mm-hmm. So Nubair coming back in form yeah, yeah, in the second Pranav half, playing really well. Out of the first place. And you can see how it plays on your, how psych- psychology is such so important in these matches. Nubair was like struggling. Then he drew one game with the white pieces. Yeah. Took the mm. repetition, which nobody would recommend you take. And then suddenly he's winning game after game. So definitely, you know, just psychological play is so important. Like sometimes. Completely, completely. Here, yeah, just rookie two. Yeah. Just rook takes you two, rook takes you two and just a seven because nothing can stop the pawn from queening. True, true. I heard King A2, like just to get out of this, but yeah, also Rookie 2. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean Rookie, I mean, Rookie 2 is just, it just finishes the game. Mm, you just, you just queen because you can't go Rookie 8. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, he takes it. He takes it. He takes it. 
Yeah, so Weber is going to win this game and uh, unfortunate l- loss for there most likely. Yep, there's no defense with this pawn. There's no path for the rook to get back and the bishop either. So that means the pawn will queen and queen against rook, well, in my experience, <laughs> is uh, usually winning. And uh, yeah, with 16 seconds, that doesn't make it easier at all. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing there. Yeah, rookie seven, but yeah. Just... Yeah, just queen now and queen d5 check and, and yeah, pick up the... I think one of the Bishop pieces. Bishop or the rook, I'll pick up something. Yeah. Yeah, he resigns. So, Vava has won. That means Bharat basically stays on 25 points. The next game is, I think it's going to be uh, SL, yeah? Let's have a look if, if the game yeah, is yeah, still, definitely, still definitely. going on. Let's go to that game. SL is an all-important game and looking at it right now, um, yes. Looks like Morley is winning. Yep. Two credit pass pawns here. Um, Black is trying for some play, but it just feels like it's not it's not enough. It's not enough. I can just pick up the E4 pawn also, actually. Now. Oh, why is just a little low on time, but I don't think you need that much time here anyway. Yeah, at this point, I mean, if I was white, you play knight c5, I just, <laughs> I just chop yeah. it off. And yeah, I'm like, okay, to... now I win uh, el- elementary chess. So I think this is just done. Yeah, but th- okay, this is over now. Yeah, rook, rook c7 is incoming at some point. He plays rook g8. Yeah, rook g8, rook g7. I mean, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Now just the h pawn, yeah, decides the game, I think. So Karthik in winning under pressure against SL and that will definitely spoil any chances SL has of getting the first place again. Um, but okay, I think both players having a good tournament there. We 7 check. The king has to move. And now knight e6 check is no longer possible. So that is the square for the knight gone. <clears throat> Not check exactly, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, now this is the edge pawn. Yeah, I guess you can, also, you can also give a few more checks if you want. Rook g5, attacking the knight. I mean, SL knows he's lost. Um, yeah, yeah. But I think he's yeah. just, uh, you know, trying yeah, for you can a see one an expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not happy at all. Well, one game we did not have a look at so far is the game Raja against Adiban which uh, would have been a crowd favorite, but it's not consequential to the standings here. But Adiban seems to be completely winning there. Um, and an update on the results. Weber has defeated Bharat. Mitrava has lost to Renegro. Sethu has drawn against Indian. Aditya defeated uh, Surya in a very, very crucial game. Avimanyu loses to Leon and Pranav loses to Nobert. And Karthiken seems to be winning against uh, SLN. Raja seems to be losing against AD. Yeah, so you were right about your prediction. Yeah, I think uh, if uh, if Murli wins this, then we have three players: Aditya Mittal, Bharat Subramaniam, and hmm. Karthikeyan. Okay, that was he is that was uh, on the piece. Okay, I think that was a uh, okay, but yeah, not much to do, anyways. And yeah, Karthikeyan has won, so Karthikeyan and Aditya in tied first place, twenty six points. The only game going on is the Raja Harshit game, the the crowd favorite, so to speak. Let's go to that game. And uh, who says? <laughs> I think there are, there are many, many positions, you know, dissing the Lucena, but apparently it can happen sometimes. Yeah, yeah but this is, yeah. Uh, yeah. Who says all, all Rukin games are drawn? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now, oh, F2 is probably, is this correct? A bit tricky. Why not rook b3 there? Four. Like rook b3 seems to be. Yeah. Wait, rook g5 check. Why did he play rook g5 check? Yeah, I don't know. Because now it's a win. Yeah. yeah, so so uh, that is that is game over. I think it is time to look at the standings just before the last round of the tournament. Aditya Mittal and Murli Kartikeyan in the lead with 26 points. Bharat right behind with one point, you know, lag there. And it's very clear one of these three guys will get the first place. Sahaj, I think it's going to be an exciting final round. What do you think? Yeah, very, very difficult to say. Um, 
looking at the looking at the uh, matchups aditya is going against leon with black pieces murli is going black against ad and bharat mm-hmm. is white against um bharat is white against who is he playing he is playing raja 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 raja, raja. yeah so i mean two of the players who are on 26 have got a, have got black pieces against you know uh, i mean one is i mean against higher rated opponent shall i say and bharat on white has got a low rated opponent so hmm. if we think about it then i think if bharat wins and those other two people draw then bharat wins the tournament right absolutely absolutely so, and and and, yes. and murli has ad with black pieces which is of course going to be a tough round and aditya also has black pieces against you know uh, like leon which is obviously going mm-hmm. to be a tough round as well mm-hmm. so yeah i mean i i'd still say that you know it's anybody's game you know we we we're seeing all players especially in the second last round just you know just completely going at it you know not 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 mm-hmm. not settling for anything which we saw so many results in this mm-hmm. in this round and uh, it's basically between these three players but yeah i i would say that you know um looking looking at i mean practically speaking if bharat wins this event bharat wins this then he has a very good chance of coming back true, what do you think true true absolutely bharat wins i think he will have a good chance of still finishing first because he is the only person with the white pieces and he is facing relatively easier opposition and oh, kartik in facing ad will not be easy and aditya is uh also facing tough competition uh against leon so chat will be right back in just 2 uh, 3 minutes with the final round of leg 4 it's time to take control of your journey towards chess mastery magnus carlson introduces chessable the definitive solution for studying chess move trainer uses the science of spaced repetition to identify your strengths and eliminate your weaknesses. There's no need to set up a board, to remember which page you're on, or keep track of all the moves you miss. Move Trainer empowers you to go from the opening to the end game with confidence. It's a seamless, effective, and fun way to study chess. Choose from one of the largest online chess libraries in the world with hundreds of titles ranging from classic books through to our exclusive chessable courses, including over 100 free courses. get expert insights from international master John Bartholomew, grandmaster Sam Shankland, international master Christoph Silecki, grandmaster Simon Williams, world champion Magnus Carlsen, and hundreds of other instructors. Get started now and join our growing community of over 100,000 chess enthusiasts at chessable.com. Chessable, take control of your journey towards chess mastery. I'm ahead of the game. up my rocket but follow me i'm ahead of the game i'm ahead of the game i'm a money up but slinging i'm working over time got the song and i'm the sing with the melody the vibe i'm a prodigy logically i'm impossibly wanted to never remember my name never remember my name that it ooh that it that it ooh that it ooh that it ooh that it ooh i'm ahead of the game i'm ahead of the game First of all, I think White goes Queen F4. Here the move is still Queen F5, right? You are following my games. You will see I play a lot of games. Finally, guys, so much work for just one pawn. It's so much happiness.
Hi everyone, welcome to our new video series. My name is Jan Gustafsson and I'm thrilled to be reunited with fellow Magnus Carlsen's trainers, seconds, Peter Heine Nielsen, Magnus Carlsen's head coach, and Laurent Fressinet, Magnus Carlsen's French coach, are both here and we will be going through the World Championship match 2021. Our experiences with it, the games, what we prepared, where we felt things went well, where we felt things didn't go well. Peter, we have different perspectives because we were in different locations. Very much. I'm looking forward to talk with you guys about it because you were in Thailand during all the match and I was in Dubai with the Magnus and the Geologist, his non-chess team. So I see some kind of debriefing where we will discuss what was the mood in Dubai, what was happening in the technical department in Thailand and we got to sort of basically compare notes and uh, yeah, get the two kind of inside looks uh, from the match. Very much so. And Laurent, we are actually in your private home. Thanks for having us. It's a big pleasure to, to welcome both of you. And I'm sure it will be interesting to talk to you again about the match. Likewise. So we hope you guys enjoy the series with our behind the scenes insights. <laughs> See you then. I kept Chessable a secret for three years at least, uh, and I was using it for myself. And I, you know, maybe never expected how, how big it would become. I have always been into games, and uh, I think games are fun ways to, to pass your time. Um, sometimes they can be educational as well, but I think chess is the perfect game that, that has it all. It's a game that not only entertains you, but also teaches you about life skills, from things like time management to the consequences of your moves or your actions. You know, once you make a move, you cannot take it back. I really fell in love with the game. And of course, given my competitive nature, I wanted to get better at it. And I found it extremely difficult after watching countless videos and reading some books. You would um, put, in, put in all that effort, and then when you get to the board, it's like, it all disappeared, it all vanished, and you performed at the exact same level you were before that. And uh, I looked around for a solution that could perhaps use the latest technology, the la latest learning science um, out there uh, to help you learn chess, and there was, there was nothing. So that's how the, the idea was born. I've been building things since I was 14, and I always enjoy bringing a community together around a product. And yeah, I mean, we got a lot of energy from the chess community as well. Uh, really from, from day one, when we announced Chessable, there was thousands of people who, who thought this was a good idea that had to be realized. And they've been fantastic with words of encouragement, support, advice, ideas on how to improve the product. And I believe they've been listened to over these years and Chessable is exactly what that initial community wanted. And it's part of our product process to actually keep listening to them going forward into the next years. Chessable is definitely a product that was built by players, for players. I think we have stuck to that vision and it continues to be exactly the same. What has changed is we now have a lot more great people in chess helping us realize this. You know, when I started, it was John and I, there was two of us, and then at some point we had three or four people. We had a small community around it. But now there is really an incredible amount of people that I never imagined all pulling in the same direction. So the, the future is bright. It really excites me what we can achieve together. And I, I just look forward to it. It's been absolutely incredible to see the reception by some of the top grandmasters in the world. Um, like Grandmaster Anish Giri and Erwin Olami. And this sort of validation across the spectrum of players is fantastic and it's really what keeps the entire team going. So, fabulous. Hi, my name is David Senemaza Kramali. I'm the co founder and CEO of Chessable and the chief operating officer of the Play Magnus Group.
Hello, hello, chat. We are back with the final round, the final, the bombastic final round of the MPL Indian Chess 2 Leg 4. This will be it, the conclusion of the last four days as we look at three players fighting it out for first place here. First of all, I think uh, we have, um, you know, Aditya Mittal with 26 points, Karthikin Murli also with 26 points, and then we have Bharat Subramaniam with 25 points. Sahaj, what do you think? Who will be uh, the guy who will uh, take it home? Um, so again, I mean, I think, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you know, the, uh, uh, both number one and number two, uh, Aditya and Karthike, and they are leading with 26 points, uh, but they have black pieces now with, uh, you know, relatively higher opposition, you know, Karthike and playing, um, who's Karthike and playing? Karthike and... Uh, Karthikeyan playing AD, which is obviously a very tough opponent. And then uh, Aditya Mittal playing Leon, who's about 100 points, cities in the two ratings ahead of him. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, the, and, and also being black here sort of uh, matters a little bit. So I, I, I think uh, Bharat, if he wins, he definitely has a chance. But of course, we cannot ignore the fact that um, if one of, the, one of these players wins with black pieces, then... Mm -hmm. Theoretically, there is no chance of coming coming out. But since they get only one point by making a draw, um, and if Bharat wins, then Bharat will be the uh, winner of this event. So anything is possible. So Murli yes. goes for the King's Indian, of course. If I you am want to play for, not if you surprised. Want to, yeah, not if you want to play for a win with black pieces, play King's Indian. Yes. Uh, but of course, you know, uh, Karthikin has to... I think uh, one important element will be the tie breaks as well there. I think we'll have some clarity because Aditya and Karthik and what happens if they both finish on 27? I think uh, players have already figured this stuff out, uh, you know, seen what's happening there. So we'll see as we progress. But um, uh, Karthik and definitely, you know, going for the Kings in the structure, he's not backing down. He wants the point, yeah? Completely, completely. I think this is, this is, this is what you do when you want to play for a win. Hmm. This, this is now becoming, you know, some sort of a Benoni structure. Uh, but white spawn is on f4, which is generally considered to be, you know, uh, sort of a dubious thing for black here, because the, if, the, if the pawn is on f2 in this position, then uh, then then the position is very double edged. But with the pawn on f4, uh, white always has this threat of e5, which can be very difficult to deal with. But, uh, you yeah. know, um, again, you know, with that being said, this this is still anybody's game, you know, but, um, um, the point is that there is mess on the board and uh, yeah, I, I think we'll see some sacrifices in this game very, very soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this game is, of course, going to be very, very crucial. One more game that is very important is Leon against Aditya. And, I, I, uh, I should also just one mention one more point of yeah. Murli before before we yes, move on. Yes. Just I, I, I'm not sure if you remember that, you know, uh, that sort of, it was almost like a game of the century uh, by Murli against, I, I believe it was Ali Reza. Queen sacrifice, yeah? Queen, yeah, queen sacrifice. I mean, so, yes, so, yeah. so we know that, you know, Murli is capable of, you know, playing, uh, you know, sacrificing material and playing with those, um, you know, with imbalances on the board. So I think uh, uh, definitely like he's in his element here, even though uh, with that being said, of course, he's playing AD. Yeah? So AD is also very, very yeah. good uh, when it comes to these types of positions. So, yeah, very exciting chess. Yeah, Fisher was really lucky. He played his uh, century in the last century. Otherwise, he it would come under contention. And here, of course, uh, Karthikin does face stiff competition from AD there. Hopefully, I don't get cancelled for that statement. <laughs> Fisher, <laughs> fans <will> not, <laughs> Fisher fans will not start uh, roasting me, most likely. And um, yeah, so let's move to the next game. And uh, Leon, by the way, again, uh, taking a lot of time, already two minutes behind after nine moves uh, on the board. So he's known to be, you know, known to fall in time. That might work out in Aditya's benefit. So you have seen Aditya, you know, play really well. Like his conversion has been so spectacular, right? Even the last game, he converted the game very flawlessly, took his time, had time to calculate at the end and finish Surya off. So I think he's not somebody to panic or hurry or whatever. He'll take his time at the end and he plays quicker at the start. So he has managed his clock really well. So he will have some amazing chances. And the third important game is going to be Karthikeyan's game. Uh, sorry, Bharat's game, which we have not looked at against Raja Harshit. So Bharat is the only guy to have the white pieces that is going to play a huge role here. If he wins, he gets three points, goes to, well, 28. And if the others draw, then he gets first place. So 
yeah, uh, this is going to be very, very interesting. <clears throat> Yeah, we have some uh, Maroxi in uh, Bharat's position, which is, you know, again, a very smart choice because Maroxi structures, you you always retain this like, slight edge in the position mm -hmm. because you have more space. Um, mm -hmm. Black wants, of course, the B5 and D5 breaks, but uh, it's difficult to sort of, you know, mm -hmm. time it perfectly. But I mean, it doesn't work in most situations, so you have to time it mm -hmm. very, very correctly. I think a smart choice by Bharat here as well to go for the Maroxi structure. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Bishop comes out to e3 and then uh, white seems to be very, very solid. Always slightly better for Bharat. So, but the thing is, of course, Bharat, I think draw might not be enough for him. So that is one drawback he has. Aditya and Kartikeya, and even if something goes wrong, a draw might be enough. But for Bharat, that actually might not be enough. So yeah, uh, there'll be slightly more pressure on him, kind of, so to speak. But he also knows, like, technically on paper, he has the least chance among all three. So uh, it can go either way, depending on how you handle it. So, yes. by the way, Indian is already winning in his games uh, uh, very, very quickly. Considering how fast that was, maybe we should have a look at how this happened, really. Um, we are already 20 moves in, and he seems to be under... Yeah, He's all the black up, yeah. pieces on the mm. back rank. Literally every single piece is on the back rank. Yeah, I think he also went for some Benoni structure, but it didn't. Uh, it didn't turn out the way he wanted to. Yes. Yeah. This, yeah, this, uh, yeah, this Benoni. I think he got. Did he get f4 or no? Not so much. Okay, a yeah, 95 is. Yeah, c5 just fell. 95 is not right here. Yeah. 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 Um, so let's go to uh, Murli's position because uh, pieces are already flying everywhere. Wow. So he has played c4, which is a very, very thematic on sacrifice uh, i think it happened maybe a few moves ago now c4 mm -hmm. idea to get knight you, you just sack the pawn and you want to get knight c5 in mm -hmm. and now b5 to protect the pawn and then white takes the pawn and now knight takes e4 and rook takes mm -hmm. c4 so already we can see very dynamic chess on the board already yes this is typical uh, these kind of positions really loves i think both players love actually both players love such structures and i think um this is going to be a battle of nerves yeah. I, I, four minutes. You know, so, n now I'm thinking that maybe if this wasn't such a crucial round also, we would still have the same position be just because how much <laughs> both of these players enjoy this position or these types yeah. of positions, you know? Yeah. Because AD, yeah. we have seen, you know, playing Dutch and, you know, um, like going into those compli uh, like complex structures, you know, where, where, where there are so many chance to, you know, chances to attack. And now, I mean, we, have, we also know Murli is capable of the same. Hmm. And here I think somehow, um, yeah, first of all, the question is, can white take on d6? I think that is an important thing to, uh, uh, like a decision for white. I think you probably can, but then the rook is attacked. So black can probably either go back or just play rook d4. Rook d4 white is player. important. So in, 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 mm. in like Benoni and, and, and KID structures, you need to keep your pieces active. Mm. That's the, I mean, you don't care so much about material. It's more about activity. If your pieces are active, then the position works. Even if it means sacrificing something in the long run. Yeah, knight b6. Now the d5 pawn is also hanging. Yeah, yeah. And also, we, should, we, we shouldn't ignore the fact that uh, Murli has about 16 minutes on his clock. So he's already one minute. He has one minute extra than the time that he started. So clearly... If if this is not prepped, then it is very it's it's very close to it. Yeah, he did take on d6, I think, and rook d4 is on the board, queen c2 on the board. And now most likely we'll see knight b6 defending the c4 pawn, attacking d5, attacking d6. And uh, then I think the players will slowly draw their last minor piece. And the position is still roughly balanced, I think. I don't think any person has an edge, but it's not like a dead draw or anything. So the position will keep going on. Yeah, we should also, uh, yeah, there's a quick update. Uh, Indian has already won his game. So there's a very, very quick <laughs> Indian one. was in a hurry, yeah? <laughs> yeah, Indian was in a hurry. He was in a hurry. Yeah, he was in a hurry. He uh, he finished it off very, very quickly. So Mitra losing his last game. Uh, going back to the game of Adiban against Kartikian. So it is still possible, you know, that white just completely liquidates the position and goes into mm. an equal 
endgame. Although it's unlikely because if if you take bishop b6 in this position, that's not going to be a smart decision because after queen b6, I think black has quite a bit of counterplay. There's also a b6, which we which we which we should not ignore because mm. idea is b5. Mm. Mm. Um, that's also possible. And yeah, black already has control d5, so white has not even moved his rooks yet. So yeah. uh, black has his own play. White has the bishop yeah. pair, yes. Um, it seems like uh, black has, uh, you know, all. I mean, the prep has worked. I mean, maybe not as ideal, but still, I think black is the one playing for a win here. So yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, uh, in his prep, uh, Murli saw that you know at some point he would have to push c3. So I think that yeah. idea is always in the back of his mind in this, in this, in this case. Um, but it's, it's just a matter of you know when to play it. So I think he yeah. will play c3 at some point. Just to try and you know just get access to the king side, queen side. Mm -hmm. By the way, from uh, uh, Karthikeyan's perspective, if let's say that liquidation does happen, which could very well happen, if for example you trade off these two pawns, then I think it becomes very close to a draw. So does he try to just take the draw, or does he try to create some complications for a win, assuming he has no clue about the other results? I think he. I mean, I'm not sure. Are players allowed to look at other players' games? I am not so sure. I don't think so. Uh, even if they do, I don't think they'll have time for it any in the last moment. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if if he if he doesn't have any idea what is happening, then you know it. It it's probably smartest to take the draw because, look, if you, it's also based on what type of a position it is. If if it's a if it's a position where you know only black has the uh, has a chance. Then of course Karthikeyan should continue on playing. But if White gets some kind of activity in the position, then you run the risk of also you know tilting in the in the case, mm -hmm. and you're only wanting a draw and then not being able to you know uh, set your mind towards the draw. So it's 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 quite difficult to say that. But um, you know what? Something crazy has happened in the Bharat game because Harshit Raja has expanded his pawn on the king side, which is rather interesting. So. Uh, we saw it till I think uh, somewhere around bishop e3, bishop d7, f3, h5, queen d2, h4, queen f2, and g5. But to be honest, it just seems to be better for white somehow. I can already see the yeah. f5 square calling for my knights. And yeah, it just I I think I think sure this 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 type of a play, I mean, maybe maybe it's good, but it also kind of helps white. Because you, you see, uh, I mean, even though I mean Let's not talk about the position. I mean, I'm 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 speaking about the psychology behind behind mm. the approach. Of mm. course, mm. Harshit is not in a must-win situation, but mm. Bharat is. But and mm. and by playing moves like G5 and H4, he's sort of forcing that you know win or lose position, which I think only helps Bharat. Hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So that's not a good decision, I think. I think because when you're in a must-win situation, you will probably end up complicating where you should not, and you will probably have a chance as black. At some moment, so playing g5 h4 is definitely uh, not a practical decision. At least it seems a bit dubious. Yes, it seems a bit dubious. And also, I mean, if if By I were way, black, I would, I, would, I would try to go into you know like a dry position where hmm. you know a white uh, sort of has to over push, and then you kind of get chances to go for a win. Because but 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 here, I think white doesn't have to try. Already, there is uh, there is so many complications in the position, and there is this there like as you mentioned the square on f five, the square on d five. Black's king is already looking quite exposed. So I I, I think this whole h four g five idea might be a little <clears throat> unnecessary in this position. By the way, which piece do you prefer, the bishop or the knight? I think oh, everybody knight, has a preference. The knight. Ah, okay, so this is the kind of positions where <laughs> you get your uh, evaluation from, right? Because this is like a great square for knight. Yeah, both squares actually. Completely, completely. Knight comes to f4. Yeah, now just knight f5, just throw it because bishop f5, uf, ef5 is obviously good because, you know, one thing about, uh, yeah, exactly, the e7 pawn, the, in the Maroxi structures that the e7 pawn generally becomes weak anytime there is an exchange. So this is, this is probably something that, you know, Bharat already knows. Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe the, uh, uh, Knight F5 looks very, very logical to me. Also, this knight, by the way, I'm not sure uh, after G3 takes takes has to go to H5, which is yeah. <laughs> very awkward. Yeah, both knights yeah. trading on each other, which no with no real squares. He played knight D5 instead, 
which i'm a bit surprised by but okay another good square for the knight to occupy yeah, 95 is more um you know in in terms of what you normally get in maroxi position mm. you always mm. play knight d5 black takes and you take with the e pawn always never with the c pawn always with the e pawn because then you have the e7 pawn as a weakness so i think he's trying to go into familiar territory mm. i think he still has a decent advantage i although i do believe knight f5 would have been better but now i think uh, e takes d5 is key here mm. or maybe even knight takes d5 and then e takes d5 but I, either way is you know you want e takes d5 another thing you should uh, probably and i think that's also why knight takes d5 might be slightly superior here first of all when when you have the e7 pawn right and i i know that white should try to keep major pieces on the board and exchange minor pieces because then there is no counterplay you can mm. just double up on the e file and just attack the e7 pawn and you know there there are no funky squares where the pieces can go to basically mm. i think i i would have liked knight d5 more probably now that i think about it mm. okay he goes f5 okay he's clearly just going for it and i yeah, think this that, this this, yeah. this sort of knight d5 break also maybe helped black a little bit because now you know the bishop comes to f6 queen goes to g6 and now black's position is looking um structured you know there's a there is mm. a nice structure i mean with the knight on f6 everything seemed a bit messy but now i think it has it has sort of become a little bit better yeah 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 and uh so this game is also not over any any time soon i think this is still very very complicated i think uh bharat missed a couple of opportunities there but still i would say white is probably better so let's go to the game of ad again and see how they are doing so the position is not changed much only the queen has come to d7 since then and the white rook has come to d1 and yeah this tension between the pieces both players uh, refusing to take um I don't know this looks this looks uh, uh more like a draw to me. I don't know yeah. if uh, Karthik will be satisfied with that. That is if you know AD goes for you know maybe that that opposite colored bishop try in mm. game which I mean it's possible I mean if he doesn't see anything else but we know AD and he likes his creative ideas so he might he might try to you know uh, keep the game going. Mm. But yeah I think if I play something like b3 or bishop takes b6 then I think the position becomes quite dry here. Mm. Mm. Nine minutes for Adrian, twelve, almost twelve minutes for Karthik in there. <clears throat> so another interesting thing to note here is that um, Karthik in thought for the first time when he played Queen to D seven. Okay, interesting. So before that, it was his prep. That's okay. what it looks like to me. Because he has about eleven minutes and fifty three seconds, and he spent four minutes and twenty four seconds playing queen d four seven. So he was he was on sixteen minutes when he played queen d seven. So I think up until this point, it is his prep. Hmm. Hmm. Is he taking a deep think here? He's trying to come up with the best plan. I I do feel Eddie wants to finish on a high. I don't think he'll. uh simplify maybe from his perspective unless he's forced to absolutely forced to i think he will try to find out some way to imbalance the position a little bit and push because he's nothing to lose here absolutely nothing to lose yeah do you think uh, for example let's say if if uh, if if your friends with for example somebody here and they have a chance to win you might take a quick draw <laughs> uh <laughs> no no I, i would not no, do right? that yeah not i really. would not do that i mean you I mean you have to earn the title you know yes 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 so i i don't know if i would i would do that i mean i have taken draws with friends before but you not not when you know either of us was were getting a prize or anything like mm. that he seems to be deep in some calculation he is wondering what to play here yeah very easy to go wrong Nightbot. is white here nightbot spamming yeah nightbot is uh, making sure that youtube realizes is a live stream and the chat is going on uh, at least uh maybe we can go on to leon's game because i see he has just launched an attack on the king side okay 
He has so, gone for this bishop h3, f5, and now he's going for maybe some f4, f3 ideas. Okay, white plays bishop to f3. And now, okay, there is a possibility of f4, and then you can also play bishop to g4, which is probably the more um, logical choice because you don't want to give the e4 square to the bishop. Let's say if black plays f4, then white has this idea of going bishop to e4 and attacking the rook and the bishop also becomes quite active on 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 e4 so maybe it's good to just trade this bishop off before you go f4 what do you think mm. about that yeah true well said and, and and somehow it's like um i i don't think black's attack is uh, going to work though somehow i get this feeling that white is uh, solid enough but yeah this space might count later on um this is this is very much like a reversed hedgehog structure no yeah yeah, like, from Arita's perspective, um, considering that he he went for this, I yeah he is trying to win the game. Yeah, he's not trying to keep it solid. Like everybody's taking their chances. Nobody is backing down. Leon looks very focused though. Arita is almost frozen. <laughs> I think uh, in one moment. Yeah, I think. Chad, this is the final round. The final round, yeah? I think we'll get to know very, very quickly. Just in a few more minutes, who is going to win this match? We don't have any more results yet. Um, okay, by the way, in the in the, in the Karthik game, he played bishop to c1. So defending the uh, weakness on b2 and also kind of getting away from this attack um, long term. SL seems to be winning against Pranav. Uh, that's one uh, update. But what happens in this game now? It's going to be crucial. Yeah, by the way, maybe I can have a look at this SL position because this is nice. This is a nice attack. Yeah, such a classic attack. Pawn, oh, yes. you lock the center first. And now because black has no play, you just play G5 and you're opening the G and the H files. And white has more space, so he has more maneuverability for his pieces. And uh, the king on G8 is going to uh, probably end up uh, in the bin, I think, at the end. So I remember someone was asking in the chat earlier, you know, when when, when to know whether it's fake or when, whether it's not. So in this case, it, this is not fake because like, sim like because the center is closed, this is now a good moment to launch the attack. And also hmm. in, in, in chess, we, 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 we like to use the term a hook. So the... Hmm. Uh, uh, a hook is like when you when you when you have a pawn that is that is a that is one step ahead. In this case, it's the f6 and the h6 pawns, and that gives you a hook to play g5 because you have a capture coming in. So this is, I mean, I, I, I guess two ways you can sort of understand whether you want to whether it will be successful or whether it will not be successful. The first is the center is closed. Secondly, there is a hook uh, mm. on the board. Mm. True. Yeah, so SL is looking like uh, he might just win this. By the way, uh, AD has played uh, queen to e2 now after queen f5. Hello, Aryan, how are you, man? Hello, Mr. Tiku. Hello, Mr. GM. <laughs> you, you can call him Mr. NM sometimes, man. Sometimes, some respect, please. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a useless title, but still. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, okay, okay. Eight minutes, seven minutes for AD there. Phew, this is going to be a very close end. Queen coming to B5, trying to put some pressure on the queen side pawns, but mm, still seems to be balanced. Is Vishy playing European Club Cup? Yes, he is playing it. In fact, I think the matches have, might have been, might have started already. I'm not exactly aware, but yes, he is playing it. He is playing it. Sergeant Mr. NM. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Basan. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> By the way, Nubair seems to be better against Puranex. So Nubair has come back spectacularly after that draw, yeah. Uh, really great really performance really, yeah. in the second half. I think he he started off really horribly, just like Harshit. In fact, worse because he lost the first five games. Ronald's taken. He's come back spectacularly well. 
SL seems to be completely winning, but what happens in the critical games is not clear yet. People are fighting for their lives. They're not ready to give up. Where else seems to be better? So we have uh, somebody better in the games, which are not consequential to first place, but uh, it's still not clear. <clears throat> It's not Naughty Master, it is National Master. So the entire country's master, can you imagine how influential that is? Uh, not much. Sahaj, what do you feel? Um, which game shall we go to? Because honestly speaking, I just can't... Like It's like, I want some clarity, man. I've been seeking it for the past four days now. I'm st- like, it's literally the last few minutes, I'm still not clear about who will win this. There's no clarity at all. Like it's it's, I mean, it's I, playing with my mind now. Look, I think both games of AD and uh, Aditya Mittal are very very interesting. Also, we should not ignore the fact that Bharat has just gotten into a nearly winning position. So oh. I think any of those games would be good to sort of go back to. Oh 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 oh! oh. Really? Did Bharat has got this, you know, queenside attack with B. I think the game was a bit a bit uh, up here yeah, on the left. Yeah, there you go. So here, Ooh. like b5 and now c6 looks quite dangerous because if you play d take c5, that takes away the outpost on e5. So now white can easily put pressure on this knight. Yes. And now black's position is not stable as it used to be. So Bharat seems to be putting piling on the pressure. So that also indirectly puts pressure on the other two. I am I know they can't see the games most likely, but still, yeah, I mean, it just means in terms of results, um, it's not it must be, be so, it must be so difficult to not see the games actually. I, I, I don't know. So, so Sahil, would you, if, if you were, let's say in, let's say in, in, in Murli's situation, right? Hmm. Would you want to see the games of other players or would you not want to see the games of other players? I think I would like the option of peeking at them once because when I feel I reach that moment where I have to make a critical choice, do I go for it or not? I would love to see it once uh, because if I see it constantly, then it's like, you know, I'm not playing my game and I will distract it and worried, worried more about the other game than the one mm. which I'm playing. But I would love to have the option to peek at the game once because then I basically get to know what's happening and I can make an informed decision. But of course, uh, that's not how it works and they have to kind of just focus on the games. Yeah, yeah, no, no, of course, of course. So you went How do you get the H3, title? H3, that is crazy. I don't know, I would, uh, I would probably, I don't know, I would, I would like to have the option of looking at the games. Hmm. But, 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 but you're right in saying that, you know, it's going to be a distraction in the, in the bigger hmm. sense. Hmm. So yeah, I'm... The NM title on Amazon, there is discount now. Nice. Uh, the great Indian sale for the NM title. Nice. Um, by the way, <laughs> 80s game still seems to be equal. Uh, I have, I don't see, and by the way, they have exchanged the B and C pawn. So that should be close to equal. Now we can stick to this game because right now white seems to be controlling the position really well. So we might have a result here. Yeah. Yes. Weber was completely winning against Aronia Ghosh apparently. So he's much, much better. He's winning an exchange. So that means he might also finish off well the couple of wins at the end. <clears throat> he will finish on 23 points, by the way. That's uh yeah, that's pretty recent. Yeah, that's that's quite reasonable, yeah. Bishop goes to E8, so white is black is trying to transfer more and more pieces to the king side. But the problem is that you know, if nothing happens on the king side, then you just lose the game because white clearly has uh, very, very strong pawns. Potentially yeah, you know, this, two this is exactly this is kind of what I was speaking about earlier. You know, this is that exactly the type of positions that Bharat wants. Hmm. You know, where because because he's in a he's in that you know must win situation and having this position only helps him. I mean, imagine hmm. if the position was dry here, you know, and then then Bharat trying to do something out of the ordinary, and then you know, um, then that would be I think a much better position to play. But I think here hmm. uh, Bharat has some decent chances. Okay, he goes for hmm. knight a four. Idea knight to b6 and push c7 all the way. Hmm. Usually you don't want to move your knight to the corner, but here the knight is of course right to a greener pasture hmm. and you can just push the pawn yeah, if allowed to. So that makes a lot of sense. Yes, yes. Also, um, Bharat is getting 
a bit low on time. He's a, he has about three and a half minutes. Mm-hmm. So if the you know if, if if the situation doesn't liquidate soon, then um, yeah, we might we might see some time pressure action, shall I say? <laughs> so after I think you will go rook e eight or something. That's four. Yeah, 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 most likely yes. Because yeah, that's the only move I think. Right. White should be winning this. White should be winning this. Um, let me also check if this. By the way, Nubel is completely winning this. So Pulanik now, Avimanyu. Avimanyu has not had a good tournament. I think he's on nine points, um, and uh, probably will have to go back to the drawing board and work again because he lost a lot of games. I think in this tournament. Lot of results incoming. Leon also slightly better against Aditya there. Um, you know, uh, although this is nowhere close to decided yet. And uh, yeah, so Leon might, you know, Leon um, uh, is ahead on the clock, which is super rare from my perspective. That tells you there's pressure on Aditya clearly. Uh, he is, uh, you know, putting a lot of pressure on himself. And um, that might lead him to play differently than he would usually play. But now black has no attack, right? Black's attack has basically evaporated and now white will at some point, he has already AFL under control. Um, once this knight comes into the game, it will be a problem somehow. Queen c5 played, okay. Putting some pressure here, maybe here, here, giving everything in mind. Yeah, I think I think Leon might just pull through here. What do you feel, Saj? I think he is in control. I don't say they're winning this position. It's very difficult. Yeah, Imagine this bishop can turn yeah, white, into a monster. White is just so solid here. Yeah. Um. So yeah, difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. So if that happens, then that would be bad news for Ditya. Probably he can hold the game still. Um. What's happening in the Kartikian game? Um. Brief look there against AD. Vishukesh and Rapport in the same team. Yeah, that would be crazy. Has it started though? Has he started already? Some guy somewhere. Okay, this should be a draw. Yeah, so I, I think the, I, I think yeah. I think my prediction might just be right here. Because I think Yeah, uh, maybe Bharat wins, yeah. It is possible. Yeah, Bharat wins in this case because uh, Murli doesn't look like he's gonna win this. Yeah. Looks like a very dry position. And uh yeah, Aditya just seems to be worse. Yes. Just hasn't started yet. The first round might be a bit late. Srinath is saying right from the venue. Thanks for the update, Shri Srivai. Would be fun to follow these games? Yeah, I think it will be very, very interesting to see how they perform. I think playing each other as well and also Carlson and others. Just started. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this one might be a draw. So if this is a draw, as I mentioned, that will be that will push, I think, Kartiken as well as Aditya if he can hold. 27 points, but Bharat Subramania might turn out to be the surprise winner of this event. Can we quickly go to his game now? Because I think, uh, considering these games, um, like I don't say they're winning this, it's very difficult. So let's go to the game of Bharat and see if he can convert this. Because if he does, I think uh, it might just be uh, uh his, his day today and his tournament. H3 was a, I think, was a bit of a dubious move. White had a clear win here with rook takes e5. But I think it's very difficult to spot it over the board, especially with less mm. time. Mm. Um, I think rook e5 would have probably just, yeah, mm. that, that that probably would just be finished. I, I least, wonder if there's, if there's a delay in the ECC Cup now, 15-30 uh, minute delay in the transmission. That'll be interesting to know, right? If there's yeah. some sort of delay. <laughs> That's a very... Interesting that, bit of information. Are you jumping onto your stream right now, Sahil? I'm not sure if I'll stream. I, I, I'll see because I, I'll probably uh, go and have dinner first and then I'll see if I'll stream this because uh, most likely it's like um, I want to see the Indians play each other and also the, uh, play like the top players like Mamidi Arov, Carlson, Rapport, Param and others. But that might not happen for the first few rounds. Like it's, there are seven rounds, so I expect it to happen for the third round. So let's see uh, what happens as we, uh, by the way, he took on E5 now. He took on E5, but um, by the way, we have a few results. Surya has drawn against Setu, Indian against Mitraba, 
uh, sl has defeated pranav anand and uh, all the other games are still going okay so queen d6 on the board knight f8 rook f8 and okay now you've got this pawn on c7 and you can probably play b6 also oh that is just <laughs> that is traumatic to see on the board honestly yeah but i think it would have been a lot better if white didn't mm. include h3 so you know i mean think about it if the bishop was on h5 in this position right then black mm. would not be able to play bishop to g4 and cover the c8 square so black would just be one move late um mm. in this case so i think mm. including h3 has just complicated things just a little bit here yeah 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 bishop f5 played yeah this, this wouldn't be possible if the bishop was on h5 yeah just trade queens here though <clears throat> i think that looks uh, <clears throat> interesting he plays p6 first okay. okay so queen d5 is a possibility now yeah, i would be very position. surprised here if uh, this doesn't go bharat's way actually because this this mm. the pawn on b6 pawn on c7 i mean this looks so dangerous mm. true these two pawns are just rule the board for now <clears throat> yeah By the way, ECC transmission has also started. Yeah, I just realized uh, the moves are on the board, so that's also started. Ah, <laughs> still no clarity. Four days, four days. Last few minutes now, chat. We'll have we'll have the winner very soon, very soon. <clears throat> Although the game is far from over just yet. Let's look look at all the three games, the critical games. First game, Adiban against Karthikeyan. Not much has changed, I think, and still seems to be dead equal. White takes on c4. No chance for winning. This is this, you know, the strong piece. But Black's piece is also very active. There is no imbalance there. Pawns are right in front of each other. That means limited chances to create pass pawns. Knight b6 already played, and Black already wants to liquidate. So I think this will end in a draw. the second important game is uh leon against aditya when we last saw this game leon was better and i don't think that has changed because the queens are also off the board and that just feels that i think white might just win this what do you think saj yeah i think i think there is i mean looking at the time looking at the position i think white has yeah white white has a definitely has the upper hand you know you have got weaknesses on d4 f4 and b7 You know, you've got this idea of rook a seven, rook b seven. You've got uh, the d four pawn hanging, the f four pawn hanging. Yeah. I mean, Black's rooks are not particularly active. They're not on open files. Um, the knight on b six is very very misplaced. Uh, yeah. You know, if that knight the was only, on e five, you know, know um, yeah, maybe I would have something else to say. Yeah, maybe on e three, that would be wishful thinking. But uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Could we have a brief look at the standings? That'll be interesting. Maybe we can have. Uh, we'll let you somewhere somewhere. I'll be very interested to see that. And otherwise, we'll yeah, we have it right now. You can see top three players. Yeah, so we already have SL joining on twenty five, but his game has I think already finished. Yeah. So um, that just means that uh, it's only Aditya, Murli, and Bharat. But if Aditya Aditya is worse. and murli is going to draw that means aditya is on 26 murli goes to 27 but bharat if he wins goes to 28 so this is going to be very very crucial if somehow you know uh, bharat's opponent holds then of course kartikeyan with the draw might end up winning as well um it's it's not clear yet chat not clear yet let's go back to the bharat game quickly so it looks like the advantage has maybe slightly slipped away hmm. But okay. By the way, what just happened? Wait. Sorry. What? Adiban is completely winning. Oh, looks like what? Kartikeyan just blundered a piece. Oh my God! That is that is tragic. Yeah. That, yeah. You can see him. You can see him. He can't believe it. He was holding his face. He can't believe it. Oh my God. that is just tragic because as far as i can see he still had genuine chances to get first place here because if if um, uh, bharat opponent holds then karthikeyan could have been the winner yes that yes. would be very very sad 
yeah he's looking to the right he can't believe it the problem is two bishops are so strong here um yeah king f4 picking up another pawn and this should be easy pickings for a player like ad and i think that was a gift to ad uh, he will finish on a high with two consecutive wins but you can see the pain in his eyes yeah you can see the pain he's he's really disappointed there he can't believe it yeah this is what pressure does to you yeah imagine the india pakistan yeah, yeah. world cup final or whatever um you just cannot your nerves decide the games and that is pretty much it basically this is this yeah, is yeah you can see sad. him you can see him um under pain there that is really unfortunate really really unfortunate because i think draw where i've been the uh, decent result there it looked pretty much drawish uh but he just completely forgot white played king e4 he completely forgot about this so in this position after bishop e3 black played rook c3 pinning the bishop so you can't capture this knight just yet adiban just you know calmly plays king e4 and black just takes on f4 completely forgetting about this knight because the bishop is not under a pin and yes adiban has won his game so that means kartik and murli will stay on 26 points Let's go to Aditya's game now. What's happening there? Because this is turning out to be super, super interesting. <clears throat> um, if you look at this position, somehow Black has exchanged a few more pawns than White would have liked. But still, if anybody is winning this, it's White. There's a lot of pressure on these pawns. There's a pass pot pawn potentially. Uh, there are certain problems with the back rank here for now. but it seems to be that um yeah i think leon is still pushing yeah <clears throat> definitely definitely um can we go to bharat's game bharat's game think, yeah uh, it has liquidated and and uh, he has sacrificed a piece it seems and it looks like bharat <laughs> is it looks like harshit is going to hold this If Harshit holds this, do you know how many people we will have on twenty six points? Yeah, it might be all three. <laughs> it might be all three on twenty six points. If uh, Aditya does end up losing, if he draws, he wins. That's how dramatic it has become now. Because this is something nobody expected. Yeah, that Bharat ends up spoiling the winning position, and both Karthik and Aditya end up losing. It reminds me of the candidates. Yeah, where Carlson qualified at the end by tie breaks. So the tie breaks will become very, very important. Chad, we get to know what they are as the round finishes. Oh my God, this is crazy! Yeah, this is a crazy finish. Fast. Crazy finish. <clears throat> By the way, the evaluation has gone south for, uh, um, I think for Aditya there. Let's have a look at what's happening here. Um, okay, so we are probably okay. He took took the knight. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe there was a better way to do it, but okay. Now he has an extra pawn, but the pawns on the same side of the board. But then he also has a protected pass pawn. So what do you think? This should be objectively a draw, right? With yeah, perfect play think, from back. I think this is a <laughs> probably a theoretical draw. <clears throat> so yeah, the pawn on f4 definitely is uh, not ideal. Generally, you want mm -hmm. pawns on f7, g6, h5, or f f6, f6, mm -hmm. uh, g7, and h6. Both of them mm -hmm. are. This yes. is like the your your standard drawing positions. Hmm. Since the pawn is on f4, it's a bit difficult. So I think uh, Leon. But I don't like this move h4. Uh, I would love love to play g3. Am I wrong there, or is is it some? No, oh, even that is. Uh, I mean, you can go for this, but it is still equal. Hmm. I I probably won't take on g3. I'll just bring my king out and put pressure on the f4 hmm. pawn, and or I'll play g5, forcing you to hmm. take on. So I think he wants to go to f2 and play g3. So I think this is. So Aditya can hold this, but it's going to be difficult. Yeah, I think White wants to go like this now, but then Black will always have H five ideas, so it will not probably work. Uh, do you I think, think he's going because... for just G three, <clears throat> just just to make sure Black doesn't play, you know, G five or something like that? Oh, okay, he has Rook H one. So you were right in saying that playing H four might have been a yeah, bit because it felt to me that if somehow Black plays G five, I can take take, and then I will have Rook D five, Rook F five to pick up this pawn. Yeah, and that should give me uh, a pass pawn and some winning chances. But now it's looking like okay, rook rook here. Okay, it seems to be a decent move. At least we can get five and get one. G six and H five directly. But still, it should be equal. Should be equal, I think. <clears throat> the best play. 
I think although white will push for a while. So this is objectively a draw. So Aditya has good chances to draw this. Adiban has already won against Kartikeyan. Let's go to the Bharat game. Let's go to the Bharat game quickly and see. The pawn on e3 is a beast. The pawn on e3 here is a beast. And uh, Harshit, well, <clears throat> I just don't know what will happen here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just hoping for a Rubbisha versus Rukhain game. <laughs> that will be awesome. That will so be awesome. that will be awesome. That will be awesome. <laughs> Okay, rook b6 check. King can well probably even come up the board if it wants to. Prob I wouldn't say it's a draw still, yeah. They can they can some things can go wrong here for either side. So <clears throat> and with time pressure, uh not even at the horizon actually. It, it is there, it is already there. So um people can go wrong for sure. We saw Karthik and Blunder, yeah. So hmm. anything can happen. <clears throat> Okay, so Aditya is now completely losing. Wow, he lost another pawn, yeah? Yeah, I, he went king f6 and not king g8, which was a bit strange because king g8 would have protected the pawn. Now he will go, you know that king march you were talking about with g1, yes. h2, h3, like that. So he will just do that. So both okay. leaders... Um, Seems like one of them has lost by making a blunder and the other one also is losing. I so guess Bharat, here, here, G4, even if he makes a draw, he's still in the, in, in the race. Although hmm. I'm not sure what would happen with tie breaks in that, in that situation. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I assume G4 should be the idea here because because it's kind of a weird position. You can't push anything else. Yeah. I mean, uh, also Leon has very little time. You just have to push G4 here, I guess, not G3. Because G3 allows Rukic mm -hmm. to check. So just go check. G4. Yeah. yeah. So just go G4. I think that's probably... That he plays H5. He plays H5. He... Okay. Is this winning still? I, I hope it is. I assume. Uh, GH5. I mean, you have that idea of, you know, going to F5s and just taking the F4 pawn. Mm -hmm. so I think that mm -hmm. should also be winning. Yes, yes, true, true, true. But was it, I got a bit scared for a second there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, I mean, less time. So, yeah, we should be expecting some some fast moves, yeah? Going back to the Bharat game, let's see. Because chat only, I think uh, we have Arunya Ghosh and we were also playing. But these two games are the most important ones. And, you know, the bar is assuring us that uh, uh, it was, oh, suddenly though it went up again. So, rookie five now. But yeah, it's still not. I think you just pick up this pawn and yeah, it's to still be a draw, which is one pawn remaining. But we might have that rook bishop against rook. You're right, yeah. It is possible. It might just happen. Yeah, I think it's very possible. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, Aditya is also on very, very low time now. They both of them both of them are playing in um seconds, it seems. It could be anybody's game now. Anybody's game. One move decides who's the who's the winner. This is how harsh chess can be sometimes. Yeah, I, I don't think we're seeing the the rook of a bishop because the pawns will definitely take the bishop here. Yeah, actually, actually, we might see a very uh, normal rook end game dull draw here uh, yeah. because I think just rook g three check seems to also work. I'm sure the other moves. <clears throat> Plays e2. Okay. If white wants a uh, draw, he has it. Yeah. <clears throat> he has it immediately. Um, <clears throat> King f2 should also work. But king f2, then rook h1, you're forced to take anyways, I think. So. Okay. Um, I think we are getting a result right now in Leon's game. Yes. Let's go there. Maybe we should uh, just quickly. <clears throat> I think uh, we're uh, just but what is the result game. though? <laughs> I assume white is winning. Yeah. No, the rook on h4 is trapped. <laughs> yeah. So just ah, rook e2. 
So rookie for rookie two and oh, just it's it's it's, it's winning. So I think yeah. Aditya loses this, is, this game. I just wait wait with my rook forever. Yeah. That is unfortunate for Aditya. I have to say he played really well in this tournament. Yeah, I think he was one of the guys who's always there at the top. Nah, I think always. Yeah. So really unfortunate there for Aditya, but this will turn out to be a victory for Leon. And that means he would lose this game and stay on 26 points along with Karthikeyan, who also had an unfortunate result against AD in the final round. So both players stick on 26. And now the only question is what happens in Bharat game, Bharat's game. But the most likely result is all three players on 26 points with SL being on 25. So all three players will finish tied first. And yes, Leon has won the game. Aditya has resigned. So let's go to the final game and uh, see what Bharat has drawn. So <laughs> we have Bharat has drawn. So we do have our leaders here on 26. So we have the last game, I think, which is of Aronia Ghosh versus Webhav. Yes, we can go to that game. But yeah, I think, I think we'll have the... uh, yeah, we expected this, no? You know, the bishop yes. getting sacrificed. And yes, then, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Now, I think uh, the tie breaks will be very crucial. Yeah, we'll have to see what, what the tie breaks uh, tell us. But for now, Chad, all three players have finished on 26 points. All three players. So it's it's going to be uh, a very close uh, decision there. Here, Aruna Gush is playing Weber. Yeah? Very interesting position here. Both kings completely open. But white seems to have a bit more protection for his king. But yeah, black also has some pressure. Yeah, I think now. I assume ninety five. Difficult to play this position, huh? And now ninety five. Yes, Bishop five. King b eight. King b eight. Queen takes. Eight takes the pawn, and now queen f four check maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think this h pawn uh, definitely should. So how are tie breaks calculated? So first one is the direct encounter, and second one is, um number of wins is uh and i think they are clashing on both of those uh if you see direct encounter that basically means right so they will see what the number of points they have all three scored uh, yeah but they scored they drew against each other ah okay 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 uh yeah i think they drew against each other aditya drew aditya drew against kartikin yes and, yeah, and aditya... he drew to Bharat. Drew Bharat, yes. And Kartikin, if I quickly check, Kartikin Bharat. Kartikin Bharat was also a draw. Yes, they all drew against each other. Yes. So that doesn't work. Vidit drew what? I assume that's a joke. Yeah. Typical. Uh, by the way, can you guess? Oh, okay, that's not. I thought Vishy played the London system. Actually, it was not Vishy who played the London. <laughs> My bad. Uh, let me check. Okay. No, there's no yeah, and number of wins also seems to be the same. So it comes down to the, you know, book holes, I think the, the, uh, the Sonberger system. Yeah. We'll have the information in the chat very soon. Yeah. Yeah. They have drawn by the way, Aronia can well have drawn. So it is a repetition and I think it's time to maybe even check the final standing soon and see who, and the best, uh, you know, we kept waiting for the final results, Sahaj, and we, st <laughs> even the final round is finished and we ironically don't know. Yeah, we still don't know. <laughs> so, uh, according to these standings, as I can see, Aditya Mittal seems to have won. I, I hope we can get confirmation of that, but I think it seems to be the case. <clears throat> I think, yeah, we are waiting for confirmation chat. It's not absolutely confirmed, but yeah, preliminary uh, results tell us Aditya seems to have won, but we get to know very, very soon for sure. Uh, regardless, I think all three players played really well. I think last round nerves were like, even if they had drawn their games, I think they would have won the match. So last round, I think everybody had some nerves there, but kind of drawing a winning game and Aditya and Karthikin losing uh, drawish games at the end. <clears throat> Sahaj, how was your experience? Yeah, I think it was uh, kind of nice to see all the you know, chess. So many youngsters basically come out and play such good chess. Because if you look at all the top rankings, like Aditya, Kartikeyan, Bharat, SL, Surya, Pranav, it's like 50% players who have played constantly at the top and 50% players who haven't played that much at the top yet. And still they kind of finished really well. So that's great performance, I think.
Yeah. Yeah, I think I got cut out there for a second. Hmm. We'll have so we're still waiting for confirmation on who has won, right? Based on time. Yes, rate. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Although I think this round was uh, uh, very nerve-wracking. Yeah, ups and downs. It was not clear at all. And hmm. we had a lot of fun. Look at this final position, by the way. I love such positions when the pawn's queen. <laughs> <laughs> I love such positions. Yeah, when the pawn's inside the game. <clears throat> Chess players above twenty are getting obsolete <laughs> on the way to extinction. <laughs> nice, nice. So Aditya seems. Uh, yeah, Aditya is the winner. We have confirmation now. Aditya Mittal has won the this this leg. What a what a performance! Great he performance. And he, us... Yeah, he has joined us already. Hello, Aditya. How are you? Hi. Uh, great. How do you feel? Yeah, I think this must be a great victory. Did you expect it yeah, before this the was tournament? Not, no, this was not ex expected at all. Like, I'm I'm just amazed. Yeah, very, very happy. And what was going through your mind in the last round when you you know were playing the game and uh, like the nerves must have got to you, right? And of course, like you know, yeah. knowing that you kind of bossed it up uh, yeah. in the game. So how how what what was going through your mind? Yeah, initially I didn't know uh, like what strategy to play for like for a win or for a draw. Hmm. I thought I'll just see how it uh, goes and uh, okay. If I drew, then if either of Murli or Bharat would have won, I was not coming first. So I thought that I'll, I'll play and uh, try to win if possible. But okay, so, soon I realized that it was going wrong, hmm. and then I tried to liquidate into this uh, rook and game, which should be drawn, I guess. But obviously, I did something stupid. Yeah, I think King G8 uh, and King F6. I think King G8 was better. Although King G8 is very difficult to play. Okay. Like, yeah, I thought that it's already lost after uh, Rook C5. Uh, yeah, mm. I think King G8 is still okay. I mean, you also had another uh, idea. I think Rook B2 check first and then G6, but it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, King G8 is a very hard move to play actually. Yeah, I think so. But I think the easier thing would have been not to play King F7 and just. Uh, to play rook b1 directly, I think. Not to mm -hmm. let his king come to e2. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. h4, rook b1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could and be. and which game was your favorite in this tournament? Like which was which, uh, which you really are proud of? The second last one against Surya. Yeah, that was a spectacular game. Yeah. Yeah, that was a For fantastic sure. game. Actually, yeah. that was uh, almost full preparation. Like uh, what happened uh -huh. was uh, okay. Let can go to 18th move h4. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> and here I had uh, queen c7 in my preparation. Bishop yeah. uh, e7, queen e7, and queen into d2. So okay. the same thing uh, came with the pawn on g5, and I thought that it's maybe even a better version. So mm -hmm. it was yeah. a bit surprising that he went for this bishop g5, queen e7 quickly. Mm. Because. Uh, Okay, that's not uh, what the engine suggests. But yeah, I was very happy with how I converted the game. Like at the end, also rook rook e1. Yeah, every everybody is congratulating you in the chat. Uh, great tournament, by the way. I just like I think um, uh, you were consistently there at the top, and uh, I think it impressed everybody. So, Thank you. Completely, completely. Uh, Aditya, I also have one question. Do you think being good at foosball has anything to do with this? <laughs> okay, I don't think I was that good, but yeah. <laughs> so do you think being bad at foosball has anything to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just I'm actually just out of words because it's uh, a big victory. Mm -hmm. it's very and and what's next for you? Like the next tournaments you're playing after this? I'm playing in uh, Asian Continental. Ah, okay, in Delhi. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, like, um, uh, like, how's your confidence? Like, how do you feel about your game now? Like, because I think this must be a great boost, right? Yeah, yeah. This is a big boost. And okay, like, my recent classical events have not gone that well. They have been kind of up and down. Like, mm -hmm. this whole year, my rating has been at the same place pretty much, even after playing a lot. So this, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this really helps. And and uh. If you can reveal who who you have been working with, if you like to thank somebody, somebody who helped you for this preparation, if you can reveal, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, so my coach is uh, Alexander Golashapov and Srinath. Oh, so Shri again. Shri again. Shri again strikes, yeah? Yeah. Shri again strikes. Nice, nice. Amazing play. I think there was no doubt that um, a well-deserved victory. Amazing, amazing play. And congratulations. And I think, uh, how will you party today though? Uh, I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thank you for joining and congratulations again. Um, so it was much. pleasure seeing your games. I think it was very inspiring. And yeah, as you mentioned, this game was spectacular. Well done, man. Thanks a lot for joining. Well done, Eddie. Chat, this was uh, a great, great performance by Aditya and others as well. I think last round was full of nerves. And uh, yeah, Shri again, Shri again. I think uh, the winner of leg four, Aditya Mittal, amazing performance there. And throughout, I think he was leading the event almost there. So well done, Aditya. Well done, everybody else. It was a great event. How was your experience, Saj? No, very, very topsy turvy. I mean, you know, we, we, we didn't know on the first day, we didn't know until the last round, even after the last round, what is, <laughs> the last what is, round, what yeah. is going on. Yeah. So, so it was a very nerve wracking event, but I think uh, well deserved to Aditya. I mean, he was leading the, you know, the tournament, you know, throughout from the first day itself. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm quite happy to see that, you know, youngsters coming, uh, coming through and, you know, uh, playing good chess. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And Chad, thank you for joining us on every single day. Uh, it was a great chance for youngsters to show their potential and they have. And this tournament was uh, yeah, a great, it's overall been a great leg, right? MPL and chess 2, four legs, a chance for every chess player to basically show their mettle. And they have an Indian chess is just full, full of talent as we have seen. So the future looks bright. And yeah, I think on that note, we can probably uh, end the stream, Saj. What do you think? Completely, completely, completely. Thanks, thanks, thanks to everyone. Thanks to the chat for joining in. I mean, this was, I mean, you know, I, I hope it was as entertaining to them as it was to us because definitely it was very entertaining for both of us, you know, yeah. <laughs> all the London yeah. banter and, you know, and, uh, you know, watching <laughs> London banter, I thought that, that was facts. I thought that was facts. <laughs> no, no, of course, of course, those are facts. I mean, um, I'm just, you know, uh, I just, I, I just wanted another reason to bring London. You know, in my <laughs> true, comments, true, true. just, 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 just so you know, I just, I just, I just wanted to say the word London as many times as I can, you know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, thanks. Thanks. Uh, um, thanks to everyone. I mean, this was, I think a fantastic event and I think it was concluded quite, quite nicely in it. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Thank you, chat. We'll see you next time. Maybe in the finals, take care, keep smiling and, uh, bye-bye. Take care.